Yo, welcome back to another episode of the Need to Know Podcast. Okay. I know Hi. a lot of y'all left us last week. A lot of y'all left us last <laughs> Allegedly, week. Allegedly, though. My theory, I said this on Patreon, a lot of comments that say like, oh, because we had Mandy B, the fabulous Mandy B on last week, and everyone was like, I'm not listening to this. But I told the guys on Patreon, I feel like they did, though. That's whack, yo. Y'all still heard our voices on that. I feel like you guys, still, <laughs> did you guys actually leave us or did you guys say that and then secretly listen on the way to work? Well, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. And welcome to all the yeah. new listeners that Mandy brought to us. <laughs> yeah, like, I real. do want to make sure is you get two sides of the story. Because for everybody that hates Mandy, there is somebody that loves her. That's mm -hmm. for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. She's got a half. Sold out dates. Sold out dates for sure. But welcome to the Need to Know podcast. Yeah. We are back. I go by the name Savon, S-A-V-O. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> See, I was like, what was you that, bro? Like, say it. What was that? You and gotta... nigga. <laughs> and for nigga? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, y'all? We're back in the building. Like this. <laughs> you had a good day? I had an amazing day. I'm wearing pink. Why you keep smiling at <laughs> no, me? Like, that's, that's, not, that's not pink. That's not pink. What is this? That's it's salmon. That's oh. salmon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not, not fuchsia. That's not fuchsia. That's not fuchsia. If you look up fuchsia, no, it's, fuchsia's you know the fuchsia is deeper. It's, it's coral. That's not coral. Well, it's a good coral. No, I, I agree it's coral. I like coral. I, I agree. Corals. I, I Wait, like, you can't it, okay, be mad wearing this color. Do you know, like, <laughs> a I won't say a majority, a large percent of a men are colorblind. But I'm so confused because how do you know you're colorblind? Because, <laughs> colorblind? let's say, for example, for example, for example <laughs> if I look at that plant and I'm like, yeah, guys, it's green. Even mm -hmm. if you're colorblind, you'll be like, yeah, it's green. <laughs> So how do I know you see a different green than me? I think we got the same vision as dogs. There's certain colors that's like off. I think like blues are hard for colorblind people. Yeah. I think browns are hard for colorblind people. But I like uh, oh. like how do you know that that color's off though? Like you don't. if you're color, yeah, that's what I'm you asking. Just freestyle. You see the shade, the shade of it. Well, yeah. if 99 people in a room full of 100 are telling you, "Hey, this is blue," and you're yeah. like, "This is brown." Yeah. You're probably oh, you colorblind. See, oh, you see it as like brown? Yeah. I thought they just see their version of blue. So you're like, yeah, that's blue. No, okay. I think, and maybe EPF, if you could look up like the definition of colorblind. <laughs> no, legit. Because yeah, I think yeah, yeah. they see one color, but okay. it's like, no, fam, that is brown. Like my step pops, he's colorblind. Okay. Mm. So he wears a lot of suits. He goes to church often. So he'll wear Aww. like mm -hmm. a blue suit, but okay. he's thinking it's brown. Mm -hmm. So he'll have a blue suit on mm -hmm. with like a beige tie. See? Oh, <laughs> and I'm he, like, gang, that's oh, not brown and beige. Finally. Okay, that makes sense because he thinks it matches, yes. but it does. Yes. Finally, okay, now I understand. That's okay, colorblind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what Stevie Wonder really has gone through his life. I don't think he's blind yeah. for real. Just colorblind. Yeah, just colorblind. That's why he got a team around him of stylists and important people I and did, assistants. I did, you he know, delve into the lore of people thinking he's possibly not blind, Stevie yeah. Wonder. But then I know some people who have worked with him in the studio and they're like, yeah. no, he is blind. Like he does like the, well, like, you know, when you like, I don't know if they if they like click their tongue or something to see like. Um, oh, like the space? Yeah, like spacing, space have, things yeah. that real blind people do. So they're like, no, honestly, that, that rumor is fun and all, but he's actually blind. I don't know. I just seen him leaning for a picture the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that. Oh, I just, oh, I see, hug. I got a witness. Nah, I think it was a hug. He leaned it, in for a hug, right? How he knew the phone was right there? With the, with the, you know, oh, the, the, depth, the depth reception, you know? To be fair, uh, he's never even seen a phone. Not, yes, he oh, is. yeah, How? technically. Nah, he was, I see he, what he, he was young when he was... <laughs> he's never seen a phone. So really, how is he getting a selfie off? <laughs> Damn, that's great. He could see. I, I don't... <laughs> You could explain. You could explain what a selfie is. Oh, I got the definition of colorblind right here. You want me to okay. read it? Yes, yes, please, yes, yes, please do. All right. Col the, definition, the definition of colorblind: a reduced ability to distinguish between certain colors. This condition is often inherited. Didn't know that. Other causes include certain eye diseases and medications. More men than women are affected. Oh, see, wow. wow. Stevie. La wow. La How do we Tuesday. make it shit up? She did, <laughs> she say, did like, say that. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was just one of your sexist kind of <laughs> facts. And I was going to let you get it off because we got a lot of hate last week. Damn. So I was like, all right, cool. She's redeeming herself. But no, you're based in fact. Yeah. Here's yeah. one last thing, right? This says, uh, <laughs> color, blind color blindness usually involves the inability to distinguish between shades of red and green. If you can't be... Uh, so, <laughs> Wait, nah, let me be nice. <laughs> Not red and green, get her off. Di red and green are different. Mad different. <laughs> Mad, red and green are two different colors. I love how we went off the rails already because who said, like, he was like, I'm wearing pink. And we're like, no, you're not. <laughs> It's so coral. Is pink. I agree watch. it's coral. I, no, agree it's coral. I, I think this is a coral. All right. For the people yeah. on, uh, <laughs> listening to us on audio, please go on YouTube, check out our fits, man, and Savon's color. Let me know if it's coral. We need a, we need a Savon fits Instagram. 
No, we don't. <laughs> why? Why we don't. Wait, why do you say that? I think I, I think I dress pretty well. Nah, I think people, that's pe- why people need to see that you're before <gasps> that. you started to like no, no, no. get well, a little bit more uh, them fits drip together, <laughs> get your drip together, and then now oh, you I, try to, I always what? thought Savon dressed. You know, I never thought he dressed bad. Because at the mixer, I'll say it like you're I'll, your man, right? At the mixer, he's he did say what he said. Reggie bullied him into getting his fit together. <laughs> No, Savon so, said he did? bought. Savon yeah. said he bought four outfits. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he saw hella mean? Nah, but sometimes you need motivation. Like your friends, friends. bullying yeah. is a form of friendship as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So when she was See, like, that's "Yo, some guys, new millennial shit," you just said. I didn't Reggie bully. looked at the pictures from last year and said, "Alex and Savon, y'all look like shit next year." She didn't say that. Oh, she didn't say that. She said, she didn't say about it. me." No, no, no. Yeah, she did. No, she did. No, no, she put both of us in the same fucking boat. No, she did. So why you come to the mix? Looking all fly because I always Ooh. come looking fly. Oh, okay. not, not last year. That's not what she said. Yo, chill, that's not what she said. She that's said, not what I said. I don't Let know. me tell you what my twin said. My twin said, Hey, man, you guys look like you guys put on outfits that you would have worn a pot. Okay, I actually did say that. Wait, wait, that does sound mean. That's a bum ass fit. <laughs> no, no, Why? no, no, no. I be throwing shit on. No, for actually, the this is exactly how I delivered it because I know delivery is everything. I said you guys looked amazing. You guys look great. Oh my but god. I feel like we could have done better. Oh my god, the realization is setting in. She called us a bum. She said, but, but, but oh listen, my god, she but called us bums. She listen to up. like the corporate jargon, right? Because yeah. this I, is I one made of the sure to tell you guys look, you look great last year. She said we could have done better, but <laughs> she herself. felt like she looked great. <laughs> she so who is the we referring to? Too. She speaks French now. <laughs> See, nah. I read between the lines, and I read it in my voice. <laughs> Unless you tell me, like, "Yo, you look like shit." If you roundabout I would never and allude that. to saying I look like shit, <laughs> I heard you say I look like shit. Well, well, I, I well, didn't say that. Well, you look great, man. You had your thank sleeves you, off, the I tattoos did, were showing, yeah, the muscles were showing. Out, yeah, yes. the muscles were showing. Did, you were trying you. shit, and that's I, what we're gonna talk about today. Try some shit. People trying shit. What, Before we talk about that, who, who who are you, lovely people? We do got some new people. That oh yeah, you in. did that little uh, <laughs> introduction. Yeah, keep the laugh on it. Save on. In the end. I'm going to kick you out. You keep doing that <laughs> fake ass laugh, nigga. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's the Need to Know Podcast. See, I'm, you fucking my whole, my whole moniker up. You done fucked up my moniker. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy A, as always, the Paco Robon Poppy. Never alone, I'm always with the posse. Hello, guys. It's Reggie here. I feel extra blessed to be here today, even though I say that all week, every yeah, week. You do so. But especially today, because I'm realizing not only am I not colorblind, I also am one of God's favorites because I have 20/20 vision. Hey. Mm. Oh, she. Sh- oh, today. Oh, you picked today to shit on us. Sh- when, no, when did she you find out? You with that one? You the only one that wear glasses. Damn. Oh, oh shit, that's I didn't true. mean that. Reggie, I didn't mean it like that. That's crazy. Damn. You and your dad. No, 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 today. no. Me, <laughs> me being thankful for my blessings is not making fun of Alex's blessings. That's Deficiency. a corporate deficiency. Y'all good? Yo, I really have this corporate jargon down. I'm not gonna lie. She's she's she really does. Hey, but corporate jargon is something you need to learn. That's true. When I stepped into my my job mm-hmm. two years ago, mm-hmm. that is one thing I'm happy I grasped. It's just very, it's like yeah. social cues. Like, yeah. just Absolutely. chill, like, stop, you know? You yeah. know? Chill out. It's like when <laughs> when your manager says, hey, we really got to finish this project by tonight. And it's it really you. just you. It's just you. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's yeah. fly, though. That, that's the number Not one. trying to point the finger. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> and we also got our guy, Pierre, in the building. What's going on, P? Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? Um, yo, this is, it's a sad day in the, uh, in the NFL. Uh, I know this is not where we're going, but... Wait. Um, it, it, you know, te- teams are pretty much getting their roster together, so they're Clearing trying house. stuff like that. So, if you're listening and you're in the league and um, you know trying to find your way around, just keep your head up. Would you? Does this um, happen every year? Yeah, yeah. Time? yep, every yeah, year yeah, for Aww. sure. It's like cut day, pretty much. And it's so fucked up because it's not as much money for the players as there is like basketball. Yeah. yeah, and they gotta go through so much hitting. Yeah, but anyway, um, so a lot of people have been trying stuff lately. Um, yeah. I, I am finding that I like, the, you know, seeing certain people do side quests. I love it. Like Joe. Yeah. Joe recently kind of did a side quest. That, mm-hmm. Joe. Who uh, is Joe? Joe Budden. Oh. Well, he no, it's Why mad, did you ask he, No, that? it's Mad Joe's. Well, if we be honest. Name another Joe. Name another Joe. Oh, that, we, that we talk about. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like mad prominent Joe's. That's right. true. This is how we do. This is <laughs> how we do. Oh, shout out to Mocha Joe for all my Curb Your Enthusiasm <laughs> listeners. Yeah. Shout out to Mocha Joe. Period. Shout out to Mocha <laughs> Joe, yo. Um, so more recently... <laughs> Uh, Ludacris did a, a side quest or a side mission. He called it the effort, uh, kind of like a bucket list, but mm-hmm. it's more like an effort. Like, hey, you know, I want to actually do this thing, so I'll just say effort and I'll just do it. So he recently mm-hmm. tried for the first time ever glacier water, mm. and Excuse people me? glacier water. You know what a glacier is? You mean the shit you get from Seven Eleven? No, no, not that. The Gatorade flavor. Not the Gatorade flavor. The blue glacier shit. <laughs> the blue glacier. Yeah, that is my favorite. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so nice Pierre, you mean like an actual glacier? Yeah, like he was in, I think, Alaska. Okay. And it, it looked like he was on the edge of a cliff. The water was so clear. Okay. 
Um, and he put the cup in the glacier water and he tried it. See, I was about to ask when they get glaciers in Atlanta because I ain't, <laughs> I, I didn't know when these yeah. this Jamon. shit. Uh, my, well, so that's right. your second strike, nigga. Right. Well, he is we're capable not, of traveling. We're not, Savon. We not twenty. Savon got to get out the hood. He he gonna piss me off today. <laughs> my fault. All right. So my question to you guys is, what's your effort like? What's your oh, bucket list? Before we get there, is he okay? Did, did we check on the nigga? Are right. you not supposed to drink that stuff? Why, why not? It's Can still, I rewire? Because it's still water. It's not like... Glaciers harbor bacteria and parasites that have remained frozen for a very long time. When they melt, these can survive in the remnants of the water. If Damn. You, if you drink this water, your body could be ingesting life forms that are invisible to the naked eye. This nigga ingested a foreign <laughs> alien. <laughs> Damn, okay? you had that shit ready. It's us. It's the need to know pockets. Oh my God, he had that description ready. It's us. Ready wow, to go. guys. But you got to think, like, a glacier <laughs> is a frozen block of ice from, like, thousands, hundreds of years ago. So anything that unthaws in that ice goes into your body, even though the water looks oh pretty. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So there's mad mammal ass. Yeah. <laughs> even no. though the water looks clear and beautiful, there's hella, like, parasites. Yeah, what's the name from Ice test of time. Sid. 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 Nah, not Sid. The know. elephant for, looking. Forgotten nigga. The Willy Willy Man Man. Yeah, they call him yeah, Willy yeah. though. Willy, big Willy Man Man. You got big <laughs> Willy in your mouth, nigga. You better <laughs> fucking wait, wait. close the eyes. I, I have a question. I'm sorry if you're like, we're going to get back to the topic, but like, Sick you know, in like, um, I don't know what stories or old legends and stuff, they say like when you free someone in like a glacier or something yeah. and then you can unthaw them like thousands of years later. Is that true? Cry That's what they did to Captain America. Niggas is lying. Yeah. All right. They, <laughs> no, <laughs> that ass. I mean, <laughs> technically, they freeze embryos or freeze eggs. So, oh my god, he had old nut. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> nah, ludicrous ain't have old nut. We're yeah. not doing that, man. All, All right, right, well, so let's get back. Wait, on so track. it could oh, like actually okay. happen. Whoa. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Let's, yeah. let's but get back is, to the topic. This is the issue when you pick up new hobbies. Why? If you guys don't know, ludicrous is a pilot now. Yeah, he getting too much money. Ooh. So he no, flies love, to places. I love that for him. I do love that for him. The thing is, though, when you take that plane of yours you don't just relax on a glacier you start drinking a glacier water you get too intrigued too interested you know what i mean my intrusive thoughts i probably would have done the same just so like just even, try it yeah, yeah. yeah it looks really like it looks good and yeah. it's probably freezing cold it's no uh, you there's no of, arctic life in there like i would probably do the same i can't I, be mad you was one of those huh peeing in the pool drinking the water for sure Ew. <laughs> I peed in the pool, sure. but I ain't drink the water. Okay. You ain't drink the water. I would one? do one or the other. If I peed in the pool, I'm not drinking the water. Drink the water. If I but drink you the would water. drink pool water. I did. You did it when you was young. Everybody's no, done it. I was before. scared. A little bit. Yeah. You drink. You had a little bit shit. of pool water is going. Yeah. Not purposely. Mouth. Not like purpose. I didn't right, get right. a cup and like. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. But like, yeah. Sometimes you get a little thirsty. You playing with your friends. You don't want to go inside. And there's chlorine in it, so it's technically. But I was dumb, young and dumb. Damn. So it is a bucket list. Or yeah. Okay. That is okay. Effort. All right. I'm not mad at that. So effort. what's what's on your effort list? We cannot stay on topic. <laughs> yeah. lo- it's just so much. It. It's just so much to go over. Like uh, Lizzo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck it. Oh my god. She toning up. Okay. Oh my god. Fuck it. I didn't want. Okay, my laugh Holy was not in shit. an offensive way. It's just I didn't <laughs> expect that. That's the route we were going. She's a. Beautiful Look. woman. She's a fellow Taurus. No, she's amazing. What I'm talking about, I ain't like how she had her no. booty cheeks in them chairs all bare and that. But I'm getting past that now. And I'm on some fucking shit. All Beautiful right. young lady. No, I just thought we were going to do, you know, bucket list. <laughs> he like, did. Oh, no, no, no. Like, Stop trying to no, change no, no. his mind. I just, thought, I just want to explain my laughter because I thought it was going to be like, oh, skydiving, bungee jumping. And he goes, Lizzo. Okay. Wow. If we clip this, we're leaving that part, my explanation in there. Thank you. And, all right. So let's, let's stay on the topic of ass, right? Yeah. Wait. Um, I want to try to eat ass. One time. <laughs> oh, your fucking list is uh, ass for real. I don't, no, Evan. I Damn, that's to, on your bucket list. list. That's Wait, on your bucket list. I, I, I think so. That's a Friday night off the henny. Wait, so, no, here, so you explain just, it. You can just do it. Yeah, but no, I mean, yeah, but I can't get myself to do it right now. Like it's kind of like I don't know. When she's fresh out the shower. And then maybe if you're like drinking a little bit. Nigga, she having a hard day. Wait, so if you having a hard day, nah, that's you not... can change her whole mood. Nah, that's, that's, that's the first time I see Alex <laughs> laughing to her that he can't talk. Wait, so uh, y'all have eaten ass before? Explain to me, like. <laughs> I have not. I have not. You know, ex- explain to me what it's like. <laughs> Why did he just like, ask? That sounded like that. mad federal. I'm not going to lie, Twain. Like, no, yeah, it sounded like, can I have one weed, please? <laughs> can I have two weeds? Nah, please? Help, help, me, help me understand what I like. Talk to me. Talk me through the process of it. Like, how what do I eat ass? Say boom. From a true professional, tell me how to eat ass. Oh, she want to know. Damn. What you I, need like, to know, like, man. She needs no pocket. Like, is it, does it stink? Uh, <laughs> does it 
Oh, Does she <laughs> think? I don't know. Because ass is ass. Yeah, we it's not, no, it's not like a one size fits all answer, though. But, and, and that's the thing, like, you also, it's like, <laughs> your hygiene, your hygiene, their hygiene. You're not just going yeah. around eating all right, ass, all right, let me, but let if me, you exclusively that, with somebody and you want to stick your tongue down there, let then me just really, go crazy. Let, let, balls, let, let, let me really that. ask you, do you taste caca? Nah. <laughs> oh, shit. I've never, no. Oh, y'all in here. That's never happened. So you don't Speaking taste caca? Like I've never oh. tasted but that in my life. You know what's funny about what you're saying right now, That Pierre? is such an immature thought. <laughs> I but just, I respect it. No, no, no. <laughs> no but honestly, yeah. for an ass-eating version that you, you've never, like, eaten ass, never. like, that's, like, just a question, you know? I just saw a tweet. It's funny that you brought that up. I just saw a tweet of a young lady say, I know a butthole hate to see me coming. <laughs> And then, and then another young lady quote tweeted and said, see, I can't compete with you bitches that's eating ass. So, Wait, you know, a lady tweeted that? Yeah, she Damn. is. Shout out to I that young lady. Relate. Shout out to both of them. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Living in her truth. Wait, so Alex, go ahead. Yeah. Hmm? Ha- explain, explain it to me. Said, ha- nah, I ain't no like, The first time I did that shit was by accident. I was drunk. I <laughs> thought I was eating pussy. Then I was eating ass. How did you know the difference? Did, did you taste the difference or did you just like wake that pussy laid? That booty hole not oh my laid. Oh, Pierre like really wants to know. You got a lay you, really, you got a click. You just got to do it, You just got to do it. Yeah. Like, I can't get myself to like. It's not about you in that moment. And that's the problem mm. with y'all new niggas. Mm. It's Tell not them. about you in the moment of eating ass. Mm-hmm. It is about what you want to do for your partner. It is a selfless act. It is the ultimate selfless act. And if my tongue has ever been there, there is a certain amount of love that I have for you. Talk about it. And and you can use that against me for life. Nah, I'm lying. I have love for him. I, I just, it was by accident. <laughs> it was by accident nights. for real. It was like, one of them nights. You ever just start eating it from the back and it go wrong? Never. You yeah, because it's, like right, it's right there. It's right there. Yeah. That'd yeah. be right. You see yourself. <laughs> and that's why you're going to have an ass milkshake. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all want. I just don't want to have pink eye at the end of the day. Like, P.S. So if you're dealing with someone who is unclean mm-hmm. or maybe doesn't take care of themselves... Which I know you aren't. And you, I was about to say, it's <laughs> Which not I like know you you're just on the market out yeah, here. Yeah. Nom, 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 it's not like ass. No, <laughs> nom, 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 give me the ass. No, like, like Cookie Monster. You are married, man. Like, you trying to eat ass like Cookie Monster. Nah, you gotta understand. <laughs> You gotta understand, there are people listening right now that aren't in my situation that haven't had ass that want to taste what the, what the ass tastes like. You sound like you projected. I ain't going to lie, <laughs> bro. Like, I ain't going to lie. Bro. It sounds like you projected. It nah. sounds like you, you look at some real. videos, you saw some links. <laughs> like, if like, you are able to oh. commit to somebody for life, oh, you can eat their ass. Yeah. I think I could go a lifetime without eating ass. <laughs> no, but no, that's really... my thing, Pierre. I respect, you know, people who don't do that, whatever, mm. but whatever. But you are telling us it's on your bucket list. So, just do it, like, 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 like the last, last you. one. Like when I'm on my, on my going away. No, that should be on like, your first. You should do it this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Like, get in your little Chris bag. Nah, check that off. Check that off the box. I don't know. Get in your little Chris bag. You got this. That man. was the hardest period ever made me laugh. <laughs> he was like, "Does it taste like caca?" <laughs> but he was like trying to joke, but he was being really nah, serious. He was so like, serious. Oh. He was so serious. Oh. Ain't so you got Lizzo. Lizzo. Lizzo is on your effort. Fuck it, Yeah, I add one more. You got one more? Yeah, when the fool fall. And it's only been five seconds. Fuck it. Wet or dry? Both. I don't give a fuck. That's not a go on. Like the five second rule, everyone does. That. I I'm a, I was lying. Twenty seconds. Sometimes I wait twenty seconds. Okay. You know what? I've done it before. What if I fall on the floor in the hood? I'm close to that place. I don't know. Right. Bro, do you have one? Um, my effort, my screw it moment. It it doesn't count if it already happened. No, no, I mean, no, nah, because if you did it, you still had to oh, say like. Oh damn! You I knew my answer wasn't good enough. I'm gonna say it anyways because I have nothing better. Uh, skinny dipping. I went skinny dipping <laughs> in Jamaica with my girls. I've done that before. But oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> so you will skinny no. dip, <laughs> oh, but you don't eat ass. ass. Oh, yeah. you back? Yeah, oh, this is a freak pod. Nah, it's not. Um, it's not about me anymore. Go ahead, Rich. I don't know. Men skinny dipped. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. For me, it was cute because it was like a girl's trip and we were like all lit and we were on the beach. It was at night. It was like so much fun. It felt so freeing. And we like ran in, ran out. And I was like, oh my God, I've always wanted to do that. Wait, but so now I sound boring because I already did it already. How yeah. many How many of y'all skinny, like how many people were It was with a group you? of four. It was a group of four girls, all my best friends. Oh, ladies. So it was, it was lit. Like I'd do it again. But I don't think I would do it. it. Well, obviously I wouldn't do it if there's people that I'm not close with around or like other men around. Obviously I would not do that. But I'm worried yeah. about shrinking. <laughs> oh my god there's like nude beaches and like jamaica and stuff mm-hmm. would you be comfortable going Hell because yeah. if you're out and it's cold you know Hell yeah. no, that's not cool. I'm, see i'm not a nudist that. some people are like legit yeah. nudists like they love being naked like being naked to some people is free i respect that because it's that's like very me. freeing they're like oh i don't care like i'm, I'm i've never been that person that's been like I are you mind. free 
I like clothes though. No, you don't. You, I do. You always take your what shoes if, off. No, what if your body you looks your exactly how you always dream? Like your dream body. Would you be comfortable with I, I like clothes. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're going to tell you. Like, it has nothing to do with the body. Like, okay. e- because even when I'm by myself, I like clothes. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah, I see it's okay. not like, yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. you know. Because some I, people sleep naked and some people are like, I no, would never do that. I would never. Wait, Savon, what's on your fucking list? Um, You kind of should have went last because mine is pretty boring too. <laughs> I just want to do a road trip cross country oh tomatoes. you never did that before <laughs> drove from new york to fucking san francisco no i've never done that oh when you say cross country you mean from like I east wanna, to west yes like Ma- east west. Do you want to do that yeah, yeah, yeah i did 17 yeah, yeah, yeah. hours to atlanta does that count damn that's tough i went to miami okay and that was about yeah miami that was that Florida's was deep, long about 20 yeah, plus hours absolutely but it's not the same because I think cross countries, yeah. you're gonna be in certain states that black oh, people should never okay. be in. Like middle America, yeah. Like right. you, with no street lights. There's certain Some... cities and highways yeah. where it's like, my black ass should not be here, and I want that thrill. <laughs> Truth be told, that's why I did Atlanta 17 hours straight. <laughs> Mm. By yourself or did you switch drivers? Nah, be I was honest. A, I was a little lady. She just played passenger princess. Oh damn! Oh, you did the whole drive. Did the whole thing straight. That's tough. You, you was in love. What? Yeah, yeah, facts. At that yeah, point, you yeah, had yeah, it. Facts. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sick. I'm one of those people. Like, all right, let's just get it done right now. And then it turned into 16, 17 I can't. I love a road trip, but yeah. I love like a four hour road trip. Like oh, we okay. stopping at snacks and stuff. But yeah. damn, like once you hit like over seven hours. I don't know how you guys do but it. That's when you run into them lot lizards and uh, <laughs> and Roy Wilkins burgers. You gotta be careful with this shit. You know Damn. what I'm saying? You don't know what a lot lizard is? You seen you seen one before? What's that? Yeah, a couple. Oh, you don't know? Y'all don't know? I'm not I was, I was, hoping, oh, oh, I was oh. hoping we would just brush over it without you pointing out that I don't oh, know what you're talking oh. about. <laughs> no, they prostitutes at the truck stop. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Ser- service in the, the truckers. Every, in the trucking yo, industry. Everybody gotta eat. Right. Everybody gotta eat. I do not judge. Everybody gotta eat. Speaking of eat, eating, real quick. Yes, yes, because people trying shit. I've been going crazy at home. So <laughs> I have made a commitment to not ordering food. Ooh. For how long? Okay. Uh, like going, going on four? three weeks. It's going on three weeks. Are you three weeks. I haven't Salute. ordered food. Three weeks. Salute. I went grocery shopping. And I've been cooking every single meal for the last three weeks. Get out of there. I had like some type of home cooked meal. For real. Like that's, that's really that, a thing. No, that's genuinely that's impressive fine. because I love cooking, but even I, on the weekends, mm-hmm. I like treat myself. It's tough. And it's tough because yeah. I don't sure. really have time like that. Yeah. But I'm learning a- to be efficient. And a part of that efficiency is eating glizzies. Now. <laughs> Save one. They're easy to make. The fuck are you talking? Hey, yo. And as I've been going crazy on these shits, say wrong. I, I thought about y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Why you thought about were you no, thinking I'm, about you, thought, us you were nah, eating glizzies? Really <laughs> because on like the fourth one, so you I had said, four glizzies four. straight in one sitting. No bad. <laughs> what's just the, just what's, going. What's the condiment that you put on it? Mayo. I do a little bit of everything. Condom. I do a little bit. Of, I put some. I put, wait. <laughs> I put some cheese. I do cheese with my glizzies. I grill some onions with the glizzies. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might wrap it in a piece of turkey or ham. What do you mean? Oh, do cheese? Like I really dress my glizzies up what? for real. Save what for do you real, mean you do real. cheese with it? I put cheese on the bun. It melts. It's again my process made me think of y'all, <laughs> and I wanted to ask y'all: is a is a hot dog a sandwich? And we could just move on. Uh, technically, it is. Yeah, it's got it's got bread bread and meat. It's got bread and meat. That's the base. And, and condiments. I don't see what would make it not a sandwich, mm. but then at the, in the same breath, calling it a sandwich just feels disgusting. It feels wrong. It feels wrong. Yeah. But I, you, you're I was something. eight glizzies in when I thought you about this. You gotta slow down. In a row? You did it in a row? I never, no. You gotta, you not gotta slow down. <laughs> I ate a pack by myself. You gotta slow down. I, I felt horrible. You need a no, detox. We were, we were like proud of you. Like, oh, you started cooking. But this is this is not count. No, that counts. No, that counts. Hey, that oh. definitely counts. You gotta slow. You have you ever seen the process of how they actually make hot dogs? That's what I fucked have. me up. It's disgusting. And it didn't fuck you up? Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> no, but yeah. like, literally, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. What, like, was, what was the brand? Was it uh, Sabret? Or um, like Ballpark Franks? Nathan's. I can't remember. I yeah. want to say it was Nathan's. Nathan's. No, well, it's like it's like you being like setting this nice thing up, like life update, guys. I'm cooking every meal and be like, but every meal I eat ramen. That doesn't count. <laughs> I mean, that was that was just one of the meals. I also been yeah. cooking like steak and okay. rice. Okay, 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 okay. Right. okay. Tacos. Period, I do some okay. tacos. Okay. Taco Tuesdays. Wait, those is, kind are, of things. are tacos a sandwich? I was gonna. Nah, that was gonna be bugging. next. Y'all bugging? Hell no. Is a taco? I don't know. Nah, nah it's chips and meat. <laughs> nah. Chips and meat. I think that's. 
even more offensive. Episode title. It's not chips and meat. It's not chips and meat. It's not chips nachos. And meat. Is not chips and meat. It definitely is. No, I definitely said, I said tacos. Said taco. I said tacos, not nachos. Oh, my fault that you said nachos. No, she said tacos. It's still, oh. it's still the same thing. Well, hard shell or hard shell or soft shell? It's it's tough. Yeah, okay. Reggie, I see mm. what you're saying a little bit. I had to think for a second. It's a starch. It's like, you know. It's a starch. A, no, excuse me. It's a carb and mm. has stuff in the middle. Is got that not meat. a sandwich? It got some condiments. Mm. Mm. Things to ponder. It's unstru- an unstructured sandwich. A deconstructed a sandwich. Deconstru- mm. Thank you so much. What we do without you? You know what else is crazy? <laughs> now, yeah. You know ketchup. Don't forget your point, Alex. Mm-hmm. You know ketchup is a smoothie because tomato. I, uh, uh, let's uh, move on. Is, is yeah. a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> you see, niggas. Oh, uh, what's that? So I don't want to be a harsh critic about what you got going on in your palate. Sure. I'm you. sure it's fly. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys: mm-hmm. in order to be a food critic, wait, did he say fuck this topic? <laughs> But he's thinking right now. He's like, "Do I want to do this?" Yeah, anyway? I'm thinking about it right now. I'm like, <laughs> I could have sworn we had a pre-production no, meeting. No, we did. But hear me out. I'm listening. You guys gonna be in and out. In and out. All right, let's go. Do food critics have to try all foods? <laughs> no, I think you're wrong. Do porn stars have to sleep with every ethnicity yes. of man or woman? Yes. Yes. <laughs> because why okay you can't be a food critic if you're biased and if you only like a certain type of food you're biased so mm. you're not like an objective food critic how could you properly speak to other food items mm. i could be a food right. critic if i specialize in hot dogs <laughs> <laughs> so if i oh no legit listen Yo, if yeah, I, no, you I can't don't. tell me i'm not a fucking glizzy gobbler saying, if, like a specialist after, I'm, like, I'm like an eye specialist you got a knee specialist if you okay. Pierre and after, Reggie after all hot made dogs. hot dogs yeah. I'm gonna be like if I'm that specialist I'm still a food critic I okay. may not like yeah. burgers or salmon but if I really care and know my hot dogs yeah. you can't tell me I'm not nah, a food critic after eight hot dogs in a row you definitely are a specialist <laughs> A professional. A, a, you a pro hot dog. I think he's a pro. What's a, you a, you a Sa- Savon Kobayashi, right? That's the dude's name. <laughs> the Nathan's winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nathan's hot dog winner. Mm-hmm. I only mentioned mm-hmm. it because Keith Lee, you guys might know him from uh, TikTok, Instagram, etc. Mm-hmm. Yes, he does this little hand gesture movement and he gives you the rundown about his food in a very monotone voice like this. Yeah. Uh, he's doing a food tour again. And mm-hmm. he actually stopped by New York. He hated it. I don't know who told him to go get a salmon chopped cheese. Mm-hmm. Bad eats. That's bad eats. Terrible eats. As of recently, he went to D.C. And it was revealed, and I guess most people already knew this, that he has a shelf, uh, shellfish allergy. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Which probably takes out shellfish, friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're in the DMV. And you're in the DMV area where they really primarily, I won't say primarily, but they love seafood over mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. But again, if he tried the salmon... <laughs> Chopped cheese and didn't like it. It didn't like it, which is still fish. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people are mentioning the fact that maybe his palate isn't as wide. Mm-hmm. And what kind of food critic is that? He might be like a food critic and like nigga shit. That's fly. You just got to put the little star next to it. I <laughs> critique nigga shit. Like maybe I'm that's what it, you know, because for I'm you to it. go somewhere and say, "Yo, I want a salmon chopped cheese," <laughs> yeah, like that's crazy. Now I do want to highlight that he does bless these black businesses, mm-hmm. of course. Shout like he that. has good intention behind this stuff, mm-hmm. which is important. That's why he blew yeah, up yeah. for sure. Like he'll give these restaurants upwards of twenty, thirty, forty thousand grand. That's what's you up. You know what I'm saying? And help them out, especially if he enjoys the food. But on the other side of it, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, damn, to be a food critic, right? Like I was big growing up on Chef Ramsay and Hell's Kitchen and mm-hmm. the niggas. Mm-hmm. They had to try a plethora of foods. That's how I learned out what a risotto was. But see, or is he... <laughs> Shout out to Anthony Bourdain. Shout out to my son, Andy. Is he a food critic or a content creator that judges food? I don't know. Right? Yeah, like, no, he's not like a... That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like we gotta con- stop blowing yeah, yeah. a lot. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, he blew up because what he does is, like, people are calling him a food critic, but mm. he's not, like, this, like, classically trained, right wide now, palate yeah. food critic, you know? Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. he just says, I like this or I don't. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I, I, that's what I think, and I think he does it in a really good way, and I think, like you said, he provides exposure for small businesses Absolutely. a lot of times, so there's a method to his madness. I think he's a content creator who just happens to be really popular, mm-hmm. and people support him and what he does, but I'm... Not necessarily going to consider him a food critic. And the thing about food critics is, like, your taste buds 
Don't affect my taste buds. Facts. You I always might think something is ass. That's, that's why yeah. I feel and like, I might love yeah, it, and yeah. you could be considered yeah, yeah. a food a critic, critic yeah, yeah, yeah. and your critique does not matter. That's, that's why I think it's important to have a wide palate. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you can speak to more. Especially, yeah. especially in DC, his most recent city. And then he basically was like, yo, I can't do this. I didn't like anything. That's like a very shortened version of it, but that's what yeah. happened. Yeah. But yeah. DC is like one of the most diverse. They have like an Ethiopian community, a Peruvian community, mm-hmm. a Mexican Thai, and like people are like, Where are you sending this man? Like we have have such amazing food dc food uh food scene is amazing yeah. and then so people are like what could have possibly happened that you didn't like our so, food and, yeah so uh, I, I looked at the comments and there were a lot of people from dc um who also said hey like dc is not the place to come for food it's the place to drink uh, yeah it's, it's more agree. so for for uh liquor and you know just much more of a party so a scene lot of people from than DMV for say e- that. and they were saying to go to virginia if you really want or food. baltimore oh, okay, okay. baltimore yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, I, I, I don't really agree with that. I've been in D.C. a few times. I don't live in D.C., so maybe... Yeah. Let me not say I don't agree, but my experience in D.C., the food is always great. Brunch yeah. is always great. Never really had a problem in, in D.C. See, it's hard to fuck up brunch. Facts. It's not, Chicken and though. waffles. It's not, though. First two. It's not that. No, there's, not, there's, a lot of places, there's a lot of places that yeah. don't focus on food when it comes to brunch. They, yeah. they focus yeah. on the aesthetics and the liquor. The and the food is actually really good. The one dish that I could think of is like most food critics would say spaghetti, right? Let's say we had spaghetti Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. and i believe if the people who judge food taste spaghetti it's a certain taste italian flavor right that they want to be considered great spaghetti if you don't put a little bit of sugar in that damn spaghetti for me what then we got problems and i can't trust your critique oh you want to know you get what i'm saying so that's the thing about food criticism bro it's like i have certain (laughs) things that i like certain things that i want like you can't tell me what's good and what's not yo you got kieran back here shaking his head free Frantically saying, "Now you gotta throw a little bit of sugar in the spaghetti sauce." You would love. I got to. Have you ever seen a food chain? It's called Jollibee. Like when you're like walking around, it's a Filipino food chain. Filipino spaghetti (laughs) is sweet. So I feel like whenever you're in a pinch, Savon, stop by (laughs) a pinch because they have sweet spaghetti. Yeah, you you got like so. Yeah, I don't know. I never really trusted food critics. Yeah, yeah. Um, even movie critics, kind of like. I've always felt this way. A little bit is like, but see, I'll trust them if they digest a wide amount of things. Real like talk. I'll hear them out because you're able to speak to more things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? I'll like, hear them out. If you're somebody that only watches horror films, <laughs> I mean, salute to you, and I'm sure you're a pro in horror films. But if you can speak to action, comedy, etc., I'm not mad, even if you have a preference. Mm-hmm. It's just the ones that only stay on one topic. Yeah, it throws me off. It's like it's hard to critique something that you only critique one thing of, like empanadas. Yeah, I feel like I could be a really good <laughs> critic of <laughs> empanadas. <laughs> Why you say I, I that? I really do. Because you like to eat them? I, yeah, I've had so many different <laughs> types of empanadas. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Shout out to Keith Lee. Yeah, shout out to Keith Lee. Yeah, I mean, no, at the real. end of the day, he did change people's lives, so we're not hating, but hey, I don't know. It's just a good question. Yeah. <laughs> real Because I'm like, you're allergic to shellfish. That takes out a lot yeah. for when you visit certain cities that are big with seafood and shellfish. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. That's he, true. He also travels with his family. Right. So I'm pretty sure, uh, in my mind at least, what makes sense is, hey, he probably has his family try the shellfish foods. Gotcha. And then he probably Get their gets their feedback. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I like I'm that. assuming. I don't know. We could see that. We could see yeah. that occurring. We could see that occurring. Okay. Uh, speaking of life changing, I don't know how this is going to change these gentlemen's lives, mm-hmm. but the Kelsey brothers, hey. Travis and Jason Kelsey. Um, am I saying their name right? NFL Kelsey. Kelsey. It's Kelsey or Kelsey? Kelsey. 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 It's Kelsey. 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 Okay, Kelsey. I always say, I always fuck it up. You say Kelsey? Yeah, the Travis. Fuck? No, I don't know. No, I don't Honestly, I don't know how. Like Travis, Kelsey. Like Kelsey? Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Travis yeah. Kelsey. All right, cool. How Reggie know that? Bro. I know cause, because I really like their podcast. Oh, do you oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, oh, you're tapped. Oh, you tapped in. Well, because um, a lot of the clips show up. It's like virtually, right? Yeah. 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 New, Hi- New Heights love, podcast. I love when he has wifey on, Kylie mm-hmm. Kelsey, when mm-hmm. she like talks about him and like the husband shit that he does. Jason. Yeah. Uh, Jason. Yeah. Jason mm-hmm. Kelsey. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I love it. I like their little stories. I want well, to check it out now. The Kelsey Brothers, they just inked a new deal. Last week, we reported on um, some more podcast news. This week, we got uh, some additional podcast news with the Kelsey Brothers, $100 million three-year deal with Wondery. Damn. How much? Yeah. Three years, one million dollars. One one hundred million. Oh, I'm. Uh, you I said, said it right one? the first time. You said it right the first oh, time. Oh shit! Hold up! I fucked that up. <laughs> no, no, one hundred right <laughs> million dollars. One million of them is nothing. Nah, nah. <laughs> Let's be very clear. He's a pro football player. Very fucking well, it's like clear. One day. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, we're we're in the podcast space. Um, I like to consider myself very educated with just podcasting and deals, and all of us are educated in this and the field, business of in it. the business of yeah. podcasting. Um, the theory around podcasting over the last two years in particular has been there isn't any money in the space. We've seen a lot of major companies pull their money. Uh, pull their investments from podcasting. We see Spotify no longer does exclusive deals with content creators, with creators. They do more so licensing deals or brand, uh, not, let me not say brand deals, but they'll work with the creators and they say, hey, you can distribute on every platform, but just have Spotify on the artwork, right? right, right. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay. So yeah. um, wow. we've heard that there's no money in podcasting, but it seems like the people at the top of the food chain seem to have found it. Yeah. Mm. Is it yeah. all the people? Last week, Manny got mad at me when I said them whites is not taking nothing less than 100 million. <laughs> I'm seeing a trend. I'm waiting for some ethnic people to get these dollars. I'm waiting. No, real talk. I, I want to see um, a cultured podcast make 100 million. Yeah, I think that would Real might, talk. That would. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish, finish it. No, I, finish I, it. I, I think it depends on the content because you depending on the content, you need to sell. Um, uh, you, you need to be able to market it to different um, audiences, different audiences, and different. Um, I just lost the word. Demographics, Demographic. um, investors, mm -hmm. oh, gotcha. um, and ads, um, advertising agencies. That's what I was looking for. So if your content is kind of off color, then it's probably hard to sell to other. So you know what it, I mean? Is this off color? Is this? <laughs> do you truly believe like this is a race thing? For sure. And I, I hate to die on that hill. I don't know because um, I don't think it is. I hate to die on that. To hill. Pierre's point. Yeah. Like, I agree that yeah. people that invest in, the, like, these crazy billions of dollars into this, mm -hmm. they are thinking, like, okay, like, who can we um, market this to? Which is so crazy because Call Her Daddy is, like, a salacious, like, sexy podcast. That, mm -hmm. That's, like, her brand. Mm -hmm. And they still invested this much. So it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> they invested in her network. Okay. Yeah. But still, right. yeah but like, five shows under the one yeah. creator. Like the, the, the head of that snake is Alex Cooper. Mm -hmm. the, the draw of that network is Call Her Daddy. But her show or her deal is predicated on five shows under her network. Yeah. Whereas this is a podcast deal between these two football players. <laughs> Oh my God! So the one show, mm -hmm. one hundred million. But yeah, at the, mm -hmm. at the same Three time, years. too, when, when you when you boil down the numbers, they're each getting like a a little bit over eight and a half million a year. For the three years, because it's gotcha. two of them. If, gotcha. if, if the split is down the middle. Oh, you saying if they split? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Bro. Name me one other podcast who isn't white based that has made that money. I don't know. <laughs> who has made that type of money? Yeah. Um, as of recent. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I don't know. As of but recent. maybe Jay Shetty. He's not white. He's a huge okay. podcast. Uh, he's, sure. he's on 100 million. He's 100 million enough. I, I don't know if he no has idea. a deal. Yes, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm talking about the 100 million. Oh, like the deals. Yeah, okay. I'm talking about the 100 million know. dollar deals you that think, have been rolling out. You think Gillian Wallow got that? I don't know if they ever said their Not actual number. Million. I don't want to hate on them good brothers. I know they got a lot of money from yeah. Barstool. I don't know if it was 100 in. Yeah, I feel like we would all know. <laughs> yeah, they would have announced it. It would have been no on bullshit. the press release. They put out some really good content. I'm a fan of their stuff, but I don't know if they saw 100. A lot of rants from their peers would have happened. And I want to be corrected, real talk. I want to come in here and say, yo, there's some people that look mm -hmm. like us mm -hmm. that just did that all got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Real talk. Is it a demographic thing? It, it. We spoke briefly about that when Mandy was here. It is a demographic thing to an extent, right? Because if a company feels that we can market Caucasian people more because there's more of them in this country, I'm just saying maybe by their metrics, mm -hmm. they might look at the other ethnic podcasts and go, I'm sorry, you know, you guys can be as entertaining as you are as you mm -hmm. want. The numbers don't read what we want on paper. I never looked you know? at that. Now, you know what I'm saying? I, I yeah. do know that the Kelsey brothers, they have uh, one of the top podcasts in the world. Yeah, they were right? doing like really that, well. That's a fact. They were doing and, really and well. I do, I'm sorry. Let me have to cut you off. I do want to add, all of these podcasts that get this money are very good podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that to be escaped from my point here. Like, they're yeah. really we, strong. We know that's not your point. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. good. I'm just saying there are some podcasts that aren't white, mm -hmm. who are produced really well, ran really well. And they don't get that type of money or opportunities. Yeah, like I'm waiting. Uh, mm -hmm. I forgot the name of... Ju I think Julian Edelman's um, podcast is kind of in that same vein because he brings on a bunch of different guests. Former Patriot? Mm -hmm. yep, yep, former Patriot okay, receiver. Okay. Got you. But I think it's, it's frat boy humor, which is always going to go, mm -hmm. which is the foundation of like a bar stool, which is how Pat McAfee, he got all of his bread. Mm -hmm. it's he like can say that, bitch on air. Yeah, he can say whatever. He could nah, call he a called, white bitch a white bitch. Could, yeah. yeah. That yeah. nigga said, what the <laughs> K fuck? Well, the Clark. repercussions are different. For them. <laughs> it's just See a what I'm saying, different. Reggie? It yeah. is a little bit different. I'm Imagine not, if not, Stephen A. Smith did that. I'm not no, going to do that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. And he never. He spoke, 
Um, yeah. He spoke down to uh, one of the higher ups. I forget the guy's name. Yeah, he had beef with exactly. Oh, like yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. he has a little bit long, uh, a longer leash than most For sure. uh, because he did it a different way. And I think um, the demographics, at least, cross contaminate between the Kelsey brothers and Pat McAfee. Mm -hmm. I think it stems from, that. again, that frat boy humor. Um, and also, I don't think we should fail to mention one of them is dating. Biggest artist in the world. He still was? And won multi Super For Bowls. Sure. I think he won three, two Super Bowls? Two, two or three Super Bowls? Regardless Travis? of the Super Bowls, there's a lot not of really. niggas with microphones and Super Bowl rings. There's not a lot of people who is dating Taylor Swift. Tracy is still a thing? Who? Who? <laughs> Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? That's oh, what Tracy. they call them? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was circulating last Tracy? year. Tracy? Yeah. Tra I didn't, I didn't Isn't yeah. that just combining Travis and Kelsey? And Kelsey. <laughs> I Are you know. sure? I, don't I think know if that's I don't know about that. Y'all know, know, know I be fucking up with the whites. My <laughs> nah, bad. I'm about to say wait. I'm about to say wait. Hold up. I'm about to get it. That was circulating last year. <laughs> trailer. I think it was trailer. Was it? Oh, oh, it was trailer. Trailer. There there was trailer. He said Tracy, but that's just, that's just combining his own name. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to have your back, Alex. My fault. <laughs> Good I love y'all in here. Yeah, yeah. keep me sharp. But I think that all plays plays in in this. I think again, you get to cast a wider net. I do think there are a ton of black creators that deserve that, and maybe not a ton. But I know I can name at least one, two, three that do deserve something like that. We talked about Stephen A. Smith. Mm -hmm. I don't see how he doesn't, or Shannon Sharp, mm -hmm. how he doesn't feel like he's valued as something like that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a Joe Budden. We know his audience. We know his consistency. We know what he brings right. to the table. I think there's certain <laughs> black creators um, who do deserve that type of look. And for whatever reason, they haven't gotten it. I We don't see the numbers. Right. I had a conversation the other day. My mom was asking me because. She was super proud and super excited when Charlemagne shouted us out on Brilliant Idiots. Salute the mom, Charlemagne, Charlemagne. For sure. Like, mm -hmm. Because, again, you got to understand, the generation before us, they grew up in radio. Yeah. Charlemagne's the biggest thing in radio for the last 10, 15 years. So when somebody like that acknowledges us, we're super fucking grateful. For sure. But then when our family hears it or when yeah, they see different. it, they're they're like, oh. it, it clicks a little they bit do. different Even for my them. mother. My mother Nigerian. She was, oh my God, Charlemagne. <laughs> oh, Damn. Charlemagne, I watched the Breakfast Club. <laughs> I wish my mom spoke English. Mm. All right. That's <laughs> Damn. Because right. then she would know how fire that is. Right. But it's, it's a real thing. <laughs> Say how she would have said it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not about to do that. <laughs> uh, that would be, be fire, right? Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> but when Charlemagne uh, acknowledges yeah. us and what it is that we're doing, like that's a that's a real big thing in my family group chat. Everybody's right. super hype. Aww. And so my mom comes to me, she's like, her, her wheels start turning. <gasps> yeah. Because now she wants to know how can we take this podcast to another level? <laughs> that's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling I'm like, yo, Ma, I promise promise you i'm studying all of the analytics i'm looking at the charts i know yeah. how to read the data yeah, like yeah. i'm in these <laughs> these conferences like if i knew i would and i feel like we're <laughs> doing everything that we can obviously there's tremendous growth on the podcast and the numbers and the yeah, audience and everything the listeners mm -hmm. But when it comes to certain like other creators where I don't have the visibility and none of us have the access to their numbers, we don't know. I don't know what Travis Kelsey is I'm, doing I'm gonna keep on the back end. Salute to all my niggas, but niggas going to say when they made $100 million. <laughs> And, and you're going to see it somehow or another. You're going you to salute the, you yeah. gonna oh, see it. You're going to see it. Do you know the phrase? You know the, you know the, the phrase? Tank. There will be signs. There yeah. will be signs. <laughs> Ooh, episode title. Oh, episode I title. like that. That's real smooth, yeah. Reggie. There will be signs. Mm -hmm. Say more, no. Nah. <laughs> 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 it's crazy. Uh -huh. It's crazy. I, I, I saw <laughs> this shit. Oh. I said, oh, shit, hold on. Niggas just getting money out here. You seen that paper. Side huh? quest. Niggas just getting money. I was fine. Uh, well, was fine. I did. I do yeah. remember looking into the podosphere and being like, damn, is there any money in podcasting anymore? Yeah. Now, you know, we can look at this as a positive thing because, yes, there is. Mm -hmm. There's money there. So, And Savon, I kind of want you to speak to the public about how uh, the deals have changed mm -hmm. uh, over the last few years. Yeah, well, um, everything <clears throat> is always like the market determines everything in, right. in business for the most part. So I think the biggest thing with podcasters or the, the podcast companies that invested in it is they always want to see how they're going to get their return. All right. Those. You got investors, um, all of that. And unless you have like a massive, massive audience or a consistent audience, like there's two ways that people are really getting money in podcasting. Obviously, one is if you are, I always like to say like there's four pillars, right? If you're a celebrity, 
it's a little bit easier. We're going to talk about celebrity podcasts a little bit this episode, so please make sure y'all stay with us. If you're a celebrity, if you already come with an audience, it's a lot easier to sell. It's a lot easier to attract an audience, guests, whatever the case may be. None of us here have the luxury of being celebrities. So cool. Cross us off that box. If you're a niche podcast, right? Um, the thing about Call Her Daddy, which is super, super niche, at the time of the, the inception of that podcast, it was niche because it was two white women talking about sex openly, um, explicitly. They were beautiful. They had It was very niche, and it grew into what it is today, right? So um, celebrity having a niche topic, right, having a, a niche um, genre, whatever you want to call it, those are the two pillars. The third pillar is if you're guest base. Right. If you are always inviting guests on your cro- Shetty. Uh, somebody like a Jay mm-hmm. Shetty, you have access to different guests. Mm-hmm. If you can get a Will Smith on your podcast, you can get anybody on your podcast. You can tell the advertisers that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, there's Absolutely. a lot of leverage. Mm-hmm. Even if you aren't the celebrity, if you are connecting with an audience and then you're connecting with celebrity guests or other guests, high profile guests, then cool. You got it. And then the fourth pillar, what what I say? Celebrity? Uh, niche? Guest. Guess. Yeah. Um, and I forgot the fourth pillar. But, but I like those three. But I'm going to get back to the fourth. You're going to finish building the house. I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's important for them to know because I know a lot of people saw the surge with the Joe Rogans, so the Joe Budden we, podcast. Do yeah. we fit into any other pillars? Say, Savon, you said multiple episodes a week. Oh, oh. and volume. 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 Thank you so much, fellas. I was actually Kieran the, there. Rhett. <laughs> Shout, out Shout out to Kieran because Kieran. Kieran heard this first. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fourth uh, pillar is volume. Yeah. To a successful podcast is if you're dropping every single day, if you're drop, dropping three times a week, four times a week, whatever the case may be, you're casting a wider net. So those are like the four pillars to like the successful podcast from my experience. Yeah. And that's what people are kind of investing their money in if you have some success in one of those four lanes. And it's always so good when you do a podcast with someone you actually enjoy. Like the Travis, uh, like the Kelsey brothers, they're brothers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, New Heights podcast. New Heights podcast. That's what it's called? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. That's what's up. Uh, recently, we saw a clip of Lil Yachty and Mitch from a Safe Space podcast, mm-hmm. and they had Key Glock featured on there. Poor Key, Key Glock, man. Key Glock, <laughs> Key Glock just wanted to come on the episode, probably smoke a little weed. He's an innocent mm-hmm. bystander. An innocent bystander <laughs> in a massacre. Yeah. Just chop it up. Just <laughs> chop it up, right? And we saw both Lil Yachty and Mitch. Mitch, who was Lil Yachty's not only co-host, but friend for over 10 years, mm-hmm. kind of get into a disagreement and a, and a tift. And the internet did not like, I won't just say the internet, most people didn't like how Yachty responded to Mitch. Yeah, now, before bad. you play this, Savon, Key Glock, Yachty, and Mitch had a, were having a conversation about, you know, how Key Glock's upgrim, up, upbringing might have been a little rough, mm-hmm. right? Might have gotten into some scenarios that he regrets. Mitch, who's the co-host, chimed in and said, you know what? Me too. And I would tell younger me, I would tell younger dudes, yo, you don't got to do that. You could pick a different route. And little Yachty just looks at Mitch like, what? <laughs> he said, he said, you're not being honest with yourself. <laughs> you're not being honest with yourself. We got the clip crazy. right here. You want yeah, please play for us. Please so play for us. Maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago. What, what You spent a lot of time trying to find your steps. He's talking about right? Mitch. Right, but so that's, the that's my make, point. No, 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 no. Imagine See? if you didn't have a friend no. who was already extremely successful. Referring to himself? To help yep. Yep. you get on your feet. A lot of people don't have that. So what I'm saying is, how, what do you say? Because you didn't want to get a job. I never even suggested you get a job because I knew you wouldn't get a job. So what do you say to a n- who like, hey, I see a n- with a shiny watch. I got a gun, a dusty gun. It's going to take a shiny watch. You know what I'm saying? What do you tell it? I wouldn't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to encourage it, but you got to think about people got I, families. You, See, you, can you know what I grabbed from this clip, y'all? This is exactly why folks don't like asking for help. Especially for <laughs> someone that, That's a good point, right? That might be a little bit more elevated in life, yep, yep. right? Might have some more opportunity to them, might have some contacts, might have some motion. There's a individual beside these persons usually that they don't want to just be dead weight. They actually want to get involved. They want to change their lives. They see how this person has changed their life and they've been so close with them for so long. And in the moment I asked for a little help, because again, 
Pia, correct me if I'm right or wrong. Uh-huh. Yachty says that he created this podcast for Mitch. Yeah. Just yep, to yep, showcase yep. his talents and stuff. Yeah. To give to put money in his pockets and to just help him out financially. He also said he probably put three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pockets since the inception of the podcast. Yeah. But it's like, yo, bro, this is why people don't like asking for help. And it's like, <laughs> this is why people always when they move. In the back of their mind, they're like, yo, one day are you going to throw it in my face? You know? Yeah. yeah so yeah. I just feel like people listening, just do things. I know doing favors. I know in the back of my, your mind, you're always like, oh, I did that for them. I know we all think this naturally as humans, but it's like, just do things out of the kindness of your heart. Yeah. Like, stop being so transactional with everything. And and I don't know if this is how they banter amongst themselves, Mitch and Yachty. They did mention it. Um, but on episode two of, uh, it's called a, a Safe Place, right? Yeah. Yachty's podcast. A Safe Space Pod. A Safe Space Pod. Mm-hmm. On episode two, they had Kai Sanat on the episode. Um, I guess um, Mitch revealed something to Yachty that Yachty wasn't supposed to tell anyone. And what it was, was that Mitch <laughs> slept with his cousin. Wait, and Mitch the, slept with Yachty's cousin? No, no, Mitch, Mitch with slept cousin. with his own cousin. What? And, and, now and this was the, a secret. The, now this was a secret between yeah. Yachty and, and, and Mitch. Mitch. At the time, Mitch didn't know. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. I got, I got, I got, I got to explain this. I got to explain this. Okay. This is, oh, a, this is the timeline. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, through marriage, cousin uh, through marriage. All right, please clear that up <laughs> because I was not about to get on this podcast and defend no nigga <laughs> that was fucking his cousin knowingly. But he, if you say through marriage, nah, hear me. I'm up. cool with that. Like. I understand it, yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you sit here and look at me and said these black men were doing hillbilly activities, I will close this conversation. But, but look, there's nothing else he, to say. He, he did. Mitch did say at the time he didn't know, and then later on found out, and then it kind of stopped right there. And then Yadi was like, "But you still did it after you knew that that was your cousin." Well, sometimes you gotta double back. This is a wild take, Savon. Nah, Savon, no, you do not. Savon, you never way. did no, that before. I never did that. That's what I'm saying. I never said I did so that. So sometimes you I don't have to do you, that. Do you want this take to be out on the internet, <laughs> Savon? Bro, forever? He said through marriage, if I was sleeping Let's, with you know, some... No, listen, listen, hear me out. I'm going to defend Mitch, because now I get him. Oh, if what? you Listen, if you was dealing with somebody <laughs> yeah, yeah. before... <laughs> That you became related through marriage. Right, right. Right? It's like, all right, no, no, no. cool. Before, no, no, no. They was always related through marriage. Yeah, yeah. They oh, just they, say no. He, he just didn't know that. All right, so was... I didn't know. Cool. Even better. But after, Even better. After he knew, he still... He's not he stri- good. He strike it again. You got to do it one last no, time. No, you don't. You have to. I just really think, to, for this real. is what Legit. I think. It, no matter how amazing that person was, I just feel like there's plenty yeah, of fish in the sea where I don't have to fuck my cousin. <laughs> But after after I find out that information, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm off this. Never again. I'm not gonna double back knowing this information. No, it's not on. doubling back. It's one more time. <laughs> Still, you never had nah, you never nah, had I'm somebody lie, that's on. bad for you, and you like yo. We just gonna do this one more time. For but they real. weren't my cousin. But though, you it's not his cousin. But you know what's not his cousin. That's his cousin. That's not nah, that's his cousin. He said it himself. That's his but you cousin. cousin. You had to spin back. I'm but not you judging. I don't think you should continue to do it. What's fucked up is if he really liked her, and now you really gotta make a hard decision. It's like, not that, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard, fellas. No, I know, I know. But I'm saying, like, there are some people who maybe don't have the illest batch of selection. <laughs> and that was like his one. Yo, what if that was his one? Go, he's fire, go body find, fire. Go find another mind one. fire. Find another it's one. Fire. <laughs> find another girl that is not your cousin. Thank you. Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. You can't give up the Dylon. It's one, two, no. three. Like, Cause, I get. Because how your family going to look at you now? Yeah, fact. You stopped. He did stop. I don't uh, know. Eventually. Because this, what, this young lady is the same lady that came out during this rift and defended Mitch about how yeah. Yachty has always been jealous or held oh. him back in the past. Oh, he was this laying it down. Look. She is a real one. Yeah, he was pillow he talking was, with the cousin. He was laying it down. Well, it's not pillow talking if that's my cousin. Uh, uh, now we just, it's just family, like, family shit. But we re- have the family reunion chopping Regardless. It nobody <laughs> wins when the family feuds. Come you on. Me? Regardless, Yachty should have never put that out there in the air. Yeah, so that was, that was if that's my man's hundred bands, that's my man, like my brother. Yeah. I'm not doing. Yeah. And you tell me something like yeah. that. And, there's and, no way I'm putting that on. And it's oh. fucked up because these podcasts really reveal a lot about people mm-hmm. that I think they would rather not have exposed. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the thing is though, they be so in the moment or in the mo. What's up with y'all, man? Y'all know this shit not live. 
<laughs> y'all can take out parts. Oh, yeah, great can point. Y'all can edit great this. Point. They leave this shit in there. Yeah. And again, I don't know if it's part of them. It's like, oh, I'm already so famous that whatever they're going to say about me, they're going to say about me. But yo, he already a rapper. And you make you condemning your own name for a podcast? Oh my god, it's fucked up out here. It's super Dang. fucked up. I, that yeah, kind of leaves like me like real quick. <sighs> yeah. Has there ever been anything that y'all said on this podcast that you've regretted? Yeah, today I about eating that. ass. <laughs> Probably. I'm sorry, Pierre, but executive decision. We are not editing that. <laughs> no, no, no. That shit was so funny. That's that's funny. I, I guess I, I'm at some point in my life I might want to dabble, just, but just do he's it. saying it like know. it's catching a body, like he's killing someone. You hear him, right? Like you hear him, bro. Right? Like he got a spin. Just literally, all you have to do is slide open. Your... Say ah. Uh... <laughs> How you say, doing? Uh, no, don't say ah. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, you your do. mouth should be closed. <laughs> just, just say ah. Uh, Sometimes you're... you gotta just lick a booty hole. Yo, you heard that Trey song, song, right? <laughs> say ah. Uh, it's your birthday. You <laughs> open wide. You don't say say ah. Uh, 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 that's when it start hitting. Ah 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 ah. Yo, that's when it start hitting. That's when it start hitting. That gotta be the episode title. Say ah. Uh. Like, say ah. Uh. That's why you gotta just, just go load yeah, up. But yeah. anything on this part, y'all regret saying? Oh my. God, I'm I don't be, know because I, don't, my, I, I have the least amount of edits. I have Kieran. I, I know I'm not lying, Kieran. I have the least amount of edits. I've had a few, but it's never been stuff I regret it. It's been stuff that I'm like, oh, it's going to be taken the wrong way. I don't yeah. want us to look crazy. Like, yeah, it's yeah. always that type of stuff. It's not like, oh, shit, I revealed. Yeah. Oh wait, no, the Patreon episode. That was one. I was oh. talking about my friend, and I would have kept it in, but I know someone's gonna watch it. That's so. probably your only one. Gotcha. And Carrie yeah. confirmed he was shaking his head yes. No, but I, <laughs> I don't regret saying it because me and her have talked about it. So I know she wouldn't mind me saying it. She just doesn't want me saying this, it, like you know. This is yeah, the cleanup. Like this is the cleanup. Yeah. That's okay. Good. That's sure. smooth. Sure. Okay. Never mind. I take all that back. I did have an edit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now everything Alex. I wanted out, I told them niggas. <laughs> I said, yo, Karen, pull it. Yeah, pull it. I don't think I really have a moment where I just, I know Savon. Yeah, I know Bro, you got a on. few. I know you. Savon got the most. I said some shit today I regret. <laughs> I said, nigga, like should fuck his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking about that right now, like, damn. That's dead. That's we crazy. have so many episodes, bro. I'm <laughs> fucked up. I, I can't remember. Are right you guys now. ever scared about, like, the early episodes coming back to haunt They're you? Gonna I can't go run for away. president. I promise you. <laughs> I can't run for president. Alex <laughs> is going to fight this until he literally can't fight it no more. Yeah. But we're going to reach a point. When we reach a certain number <laughs> of home. listeners, and I'm gonna say, Alex, yeah. we have to. When it's time for me to get my Ghost from Power shit on <laughs> and run for office, yeah, we might do some scrubs. You're, you're gonna nuke the, yeah. nuke the, uh, nuke I'm the not, YouTube. I'm things. not too I'm scared because when I signed on was 2021, and yeah. by then I was, I was, I was good. I was politically correct. Okay. You know, I, media I, I grew a lot. I was very media trained. Nice, you know? nice. Media trained, Reg. So <laughs> yeah, but Savon's a very. Yeah. I feel like Savon has a lot of stories he regrets because yeah. Savon's a very like. Mm -hmm. Say it first and edit it later, type of guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but see, sometimes we do things we regret, right? Yeah. yeah. You think Lil Yachty regretted crashing out on his birthday? If it's one day I'm gonna allow a crash out, okay. it's on your birthday. <laughs> nah. I ain't gonna lie to you. So those you, what you mean, nah? You gotta do it the day what after. You, I'm gonna get right back to you. Hold on. Uh Lil Yachty also got into it. Uh, uh, recently with an artist well his former artist named Cowabunga <laughs> see there you go uh, see there you go and see that and that's just that's the thing that niggas see you in real life you better calm down alright my fault yeah you better chill out Interest of thought. now Caribou was uh, one of the Concrete Boys DC2 Trail um uh, Draft day, lucky. Uh, no, lucky. lucky not in this. Yeah, yeah. lucky. Luck, Lucky's concrete think, boys. Yeah. Not right now. Lucky day. Not no, right no, now. No, not lucky day. <laughs> not right now. Lucky not concrete. Right. He, he was. Who, okay. I don't know I who can they be that. talking about. Not for yeah, save on. Where you at, man? Yeah, you got to come to the underground with us. <laughs> <laughs> lucky day. <laughs> All that's not important. Yeah, what yeah. I will say though is, Caribou was probably the second most recognizable person in the concrete boys group. Who used to be his, right. but she's not a boy. Nah, no, no, she no. got them things on her. She does. Okay. She absolutely she used to be his, young lady. She signed on as his as Yadi's assistant. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And bottom things, I mean bars. <laughs> so now what you might be asking what Yadi crashed out to. Um Caribou. Well, a fan. It's always the fans, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo it's always the fan. It's our uh, fault? No, it probably is. But a fan <laughs> went to Twitter and said, Hey, you know, Caribou walked into my store today. And I asked her, why did you leave Concrete Boys and Little Yachty situation, etc.? And she told me that. I didn't leave. I was kicked out because I was being bullied, this and that. Lil Yachty saw that and had a generational crash out on his Instagram <laughs> I put love. three chains on all y'all neck. We bought a Cartier watch. I gave you that chrome Rolex. Bro, yeah. you the most... Dis you, you was watching tables. You was... You was... You was... You was waiting. See? 
What are we talking about, nigga? I changed your motherfucking life. See, you they... ain't a lion talking about some we bully you. That shit got me fucked up, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. You disrespectful, bro. You talk to people crazy. You tell people that they are nothing. You tell people you're gonna spit on them. You you tell people they poor and you talk to the you talk to my fucking label crazy. You claim I was stealing money from you. Bro, stealing money from you how, nigga? Stealing money from you how, bro? You ain't made no money. The only 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 thing I have to comment on this, cause this ain't my demographic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this ain't my demographic. Um uh, I just hope. The people who talk into their phones, tough to women in this way, just talk to men with the same energy. That's it. I feel that. That's all I. That's all I got from it. I don't know. Yeah, the, not, I don't know the nothing. dynamics let between me, none of this. Let me shoot you some bail. Not for nothing on that same Key Glock episode where he got into it with Mitch. Key Glock sparks a blunt in Lil Yachty's room that he actually sleeps in, and Yachty don't smoke. So when he sparked it. He's like, oh, whoa, what a terrible smell. You could tell he really wanted to tell Key Glock, hey, yo, ain't no smoking in here. Put that out. But knew but he, he could. Yeah, he <laughs> That's the only thing yeah, I can take I away from you. this. It's like, I feel you. I because feel you. The, the aggression in, in which he's talking to Cal Bunga. Car Caribou. Thank you. <laughs> Caribou. It's Caribou. Caribou. <laughs> Caribou. Absolutely. I just feel like you just got to keep that same energy. I'm one of those people who I, I believe in keeping that same energy. Yeah. So if you're going to talk this aggressive to a woman yeah. on Instagram Live, just make sure whenever Drake shoots at you, you you run that same energy back. <laughs> he al he also claimed that he made her and that he uh, made reference tracks uh, for her. The same the same rhetoric that he kind of used with Mitch. Yeah, yeah. You got to be careful with the people that you even allow to put you in position, which is kind of crazy to think That's about. A great point. Because yeah. everybody wants to get in a position, but you also ask, I have to understand. And Alex, shout out to you. You taught me this very very long time ago, mm. many many moons ago. Mm. You have to understand who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. You have to know who you're dealing Everybody with. Everybody different. Everybody's different. And so if I'm someone who wants an opportunity or it, and I'm gifted or granted an opportunity, the only way that somebody, in most cases, meets success or finds success is when opportunity meets preparation. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit of luck. But to sustain that opportunity in luck, you need to have been prepared for mm -hmm. that moment. Gotta yeah. be ready. Yeah. Yep. You have to be ready. Mm -hmm. So for her and for Mitch mm -hmm. and whatever comes of this, if they were ready for this type of opportunity, they will survive and yeah. they will thrive in this industry. And if not, then, you know, back to the drawing board. Absolutely. And Yachty, I don't know if you know or not, bro, but this is what comes with being an owner. <laughs> You're going to invest money. You're going to invest into people. You're going to have ups and downs. People are going to be disgruntled. You're going to try to level um, um, temperature. This is what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not ready for what comes with it, don't be the guy at the end of it when you backed it and you probably mm -hmm. was the caveat in all of this even happening. Yeah. Don't hit them with the, without me, you wouldn't have been. They already know that. <laughs> What's, what's like that was the point. That was yeah. the whole point why you came in. <laughs> that, that's why you introduced them to people because you're you. Hello, yeah. you're not saying nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know like, what I mean? It's, it's yeah. like what's understood doesn't always have to be said. Uh, duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're saying it, you're not the type of person I really want to be around. Come yeah. on, you're not man. really the type of person that I can one on one trust. Yeah. Or I really can believe in because if you think this is all about you, that's what this has always been about. Good point. And, and I think his ego comes from. We all know yeah, Yadi's a very good writer. He's written written for written. He's written for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. so, a lot of hits. <laughs> a lot of hits. So I, I can yeah. see where the ego can Kinda come comes from. in. Yeah. yeah. Especially when but people like, try to talk down on his pen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He I just like wants his credit. Yeah. 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 All right, listen, I'll, I'll allow a birthday crash up, but it's to a minimum, my G. Up. Yeah. That was too much. Once you start getting nasty about, oh, without me, nothing. All right. I'm cool. I'm tapped yeah, out. Yeah. Like, did they, did, did Yachty really put yeah. all his friends and these artists on because he really wanted everybody to win? Or did he just always want to be right. the one who, like, did this for you guys? And, why, you know? and I don't know what Yachty's deal looks like, but I do know record labels come to bigger artists like, hey, man. We want to re-up you? All right, cool. Let's add X, Y, and Z. Let's add a label. Let's add this. Is add, this is what happened. So it's like, at the end of the day, it probably could have just been business as well. Acting like you were the, the soul savior is like, wow, for real. This is why one of my issues as a purist yeah. of podcast, mm -hmm. I get so infuriated when I see these celebrities just come in and insert themselves in Dominate a podcast. The space. It's yeah. not yeah. like a lot of these people, it's not podcast to me. They're not? Like, they're talking. 
Yes, sure. They're talking. <laughs> sure, they have cameras and microphones and all of these things. They're productions. They're full on shows. They're fully produced. They're fully funded. They're they're. You already are bringing a certain cachet and career into a space. Don't hate right? broke boy. No, I'm hating. <laughs> I'm hating it all because uh, and, and 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 we I, just brokeies. It is It is, I guess, necessary, and it yeah. shows the evolution of an industry. For who, sure. We got to see it from day one, essentially, right? Y'all remember when the first iPhones came out and you saw the podcast app and you didn't know yeah. what the fuck that thing I was? was? Always trying to you tried to delete it. Oh you tried to delete it to yeah. get more space on your <laughs> phone because Damn. you swore it was taking up so much space. <laughs> yeah. But it was just an unlimited <laughs> amount of content there that we didn't know was a gold mine. Yeah. That is what podcasting is. Yeah. It's the fucking gold rush. Right? There's no rules. There's no regulations. Nobody knows what it is that they're doing, which is why you're seeing so many $100 million deals. Because who the fuck are you to tell me I'm not worth $100 million if I'm Travis Kelsey? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, it's the wild, wild west right now. But there's two sides to that to me. Because one, you get these celebrities who come in, they don't really mm. take it as serious. Because like Lola Yachty said... I don't need a fucking podcast. I'm a rapper. rapper. And he also told Mitch during this fallout, fuck the podcast. Yeah. Fuck the podcast. He fuck ended the podcast. the podcast. He said, fuck the podcast. You get what I'm saying? I said, oh, shit, no. So for me, I think maybe we need to come up with a new name, a new genre, a new something. Productions. Productions. Yeah, because Productions. these are full-on productions with people who have the backing. Yeah. I think one of the celebrity-driven podcasts who is authentic to the art of podcasting is a Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Right, we got to see. Oh, that's the, a podcast. That's a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. getting nerdy on there. It started there, from you know the inception of that. Like he was in his bedroom saying "nigger." Wait, what? Right, like I don't know how it started. Wait, 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 what? Nah, back in the day, you ain't know that. Wait, wait, wait that's, that's how, how the podcast started. Nah, he was getting it off though. Oh. Uh, he I wasn't he was just like, doing Fear Factor? This is still... He was saying nigga? It was a thing! This is still... And we can like, mark that, but... We can find nah, it right now. This is... <laughs> nah, leave that. They need to know. <laughs> this is a need to know podcast. But, but, I know he said it before, but no, I didn't know... It was I didn't know podcast. This. Wait, oh hard God. ER? He was getting it all off, nigga. Nigga. Oh, nigga. Like, he was wait, just nigga in the this up. Still, he did it in different dialects? The S-A-V-O, the end was really for that. <laughs> yeah. We can Damn. still type this into YouTube and see it? It was, it was a the... story like two, three years ago. Yeah, I, wow. I think I remember it's that. A thing. Oh, I thought like, you meant like the inception of the podcast. Wow. He was just in the crib like, nigga, 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 nigga. And then the podcast came. <laughs> That's essentially, why I thought he was. Essentially, <laughs> you know what I'm he was on there doing that on the podcast. Sheesh. But no. that's because it was such a small audience. No, but it, was yeah. a, it was a podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So today and, it's just a little bit different when I see these people, a little Yachty. Like even when I saw a little Yachty interviewing Drake, right? I think I came here on the podcast and I felt the way about that because I'm like, oh, I remember, I remember that. that when they were on the, when they were on the beach. Yeah, they were like, on the beach what are we PJ? talking about? It's not a podcast. It's, whatever. You know, let me let me ask you guys a question. I'm a hater. <laughs> At what point does all of this become brain rot? Because like I'm th- I'm listening right now and I you know we've done all done the research and I'm trying to think. Yo, what have I learned or what have I gained from all of this? <laughs> well, not for nothing. This is why it's coined entertainment. Okay. An escape, a yeah. getaway. Yeah. Life is already so busy, so crazy. We got all this other shit going on. Let me get a quick escape through some content. Yeah. Sometimes, like, I mean, I do value the conversations that, like, you're like, whoa. Like, I really walked away from those literally, like, a better person because it was yeah. just so impactful. But on the day-to-day, though, like, I prefer that like my stupid little Caucasian podcast that I'm upset with, obsessed with like I really do prefer them being like mindless and silly and mm-hmm. just funny and stupid because like yeah. I just in the morning like I don't feel like fucking mm-hmm. arguing and learning about life and shit like I want I want to hear them talk about <laughs> pe- pens off. versus pencils yeah. and shit like, yeah. so, like, eat, like yeah. eat the meat spit out the bone kind of thing I like, mean take from I, I, I never heard, heard that one you never heard of that <laughs> it's, never basically, heard it's basically one. insinuating I ain't never heard nobody eat the meat and spit, spit out, the bones? out the bone isn't that what we all do Hey, I mean, some I people eat, the, eat no meat. Some people, you no never have marrow, marrow, bone dumb, marrow, bone marrow. It's mad good, cooked with seasoning and all that. Don't anyway, like that. Um, yeah, I do think like a point, pointless American. podcasts have a have a place in this world. Yeah, yes, like I you, agree you with extract that. from it what makes the most sense and yeah. what's edifying. But it's just entertainment. It's not. It's not yeah. about like a podcast. Doesn't necessarily need to be. Um, Somewhere you come educational. to Educational. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I just want to escape. I just want yeah. white white noise in the background sometimes. I just want to get through my commute to work. Yeah. And I want to hear people that I really fuck with and, and different thoughts. Like, mm-hmm. I think the one thing a podcast should be is somewhat thought provoking, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You should leave the podcast hating somebody, loving somebody, mm-hmm. learning something new, or, or just challenging thought. 
And that's one of the things that I appreciate podcasting for. That's one of the things I think we do here, which is why so many people fuck with us. Because sure. it's like, all right, wait, this motherfucker said this. And yeah, it's just one of those things. Okay. Um, I do want to challenge our thought with this really quick. Mm-hmm. So I didn't write this on our docket because I like to keep something in the tuck. Uh-oh. But I'm Same. going to, hmm, if I had to put this on anybody, I'm going to put this on Alex. Alex, Uh-oh. not because I, I judge you, not because I think you share the same sentiment. But you judge me. Only because, <laughs> um, <laughs> because out of all of us, clean it up. I think it would <laughs> just it be up. you. That's yeah, it. clean it up. So John Cena, he was in the news. I don't want, you don't, no, and I'm, I'm still there. I'm, I'm 47. I don't have them. He doesn't um, want kids. You don't want a little Johnny? I, I, I got to tell you, it's, it's, it's not the easiest out there because, you know, um, a, a lot of why we're here is, is to reproduce. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a certain curiosity about life. And I also know, I also know the investment that it takes. Mm-hmm. Facts. And my biggest fear is, as someone who's driven, many times stubborn and selfish, I try to approach the world with kindness and curiosity. But I, I don't think I'm personally ready, nor will I ever be, to invest the time it needs to be a great parent because I want to, I want to <laughs> live life for all it is. Hmm. Selfish ass nigga. So, <laughs> you know what? Wait. Selfish ass nigga. No, 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 but I'm uh, really glad you said that because <clears throat> he said selfish. And I'm like, honestly, I'm me as someone who is like my biggest goal. I've said this a million times. My biggest goal in life is to be a great mom. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my age. I just want to be a mom. I cannot wait. Th- that's my opinion. And then, me having that perspective, I also, I'm like, I don't mind if people are fucking selfish and don't want to have kids. Like, why does everybody have to have kids? I don't mind, but when you that successful, Reggie, what you gonna leave everything to? The dog? <laughs> he doesn't have to leave it to anybody. <laughs> no, that like, money gotta go somewhere, Reggie. He could give it to his family. He could give it to the less fortunate. Like, if you don't have it in your heart to have kids, yeah. not everybody, not our self-worth is not defined based on like, oh, I can raise a kid and pass things on. Like, that's not... We don't have to do that to be to have value as humans. I feel like he really does not have that desire. He's like, you know what? I just don't. I just don't want kids. Tracy Ellis Ross does not want kids, and she's flourishing. You know, yeah. like we don't have one, to force it. One thing I like that he said was that he feels like he's never had the proper time to be there for a child. So that is the one point I'll agree with. Mm-hmm. Right? I, again, I see a lot of parents where I go, "That's mature, dog." Like you know how you be shaking and moving. Mm-hmm. You know what you really like doing as opposed to being a parent. Again, I don't think you're a terrible person for it. It's just who you are, who you are. But you still brought children into this world. And it's like, dog, they're going to have to learn through other people, other things. And hopefully they're good things because you don't have the time Mm -hmm. or the care. And it should have been the parents' job to really, like, raise them. And now you don't have the time. John Cena's like, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I just don't. I I can't do it. The irony (coughs) in what he said is that. Um, I believe he has been like the number one make a wish celebrity appeared person oh, wow. in the world. Yeah, give back. Right? So for yeah, him to back. say, hey, I don't want kids of my own, but he has made the most wishes come true when it comes to that program, yeah. I think is, is, is honorable. And there is a certain uh, humanity that we should view him with. Although what he's saying isn't socially normal mm-hmm. right like not, yeah. no, most successful people especially at this point at 47 years old saying hey as a as, especially as a man i don't want kids i don't want to reproduce i'm okay because i'm like selfish fucking. and i want to <laughs> nothing wrong with that I, I hate when people try to clean some shit up when they go on a little interview <laughs> oh i'll be working hard just say you like fucking without thinking <laughs> that's really what it be for a lot of these people reggie all right i'm telling he you. is doing but he's doing a lot of thinking because yeah. if you went 47 years, no slip ups, all the money, all those muscles, you was thinking. <laughs> he, he was calling them. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he's wrapped up. <laughs> that nigga is strapped up, Poppy. Damn. I, honestly, you could probably like, tap that nigga. Yo, you got condom on you? That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor? A seven, he got a 17 pack on him. God right? damn. Only thing for me is when broke people say they don't want no kids, I say, all right, salute. You're doing good. <laughs> don't bring no more broke people into this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But. When you got that amount of money, granted, yeah. you can do whatever you want in this lifetime, right? I don't think he's a crazy person for his thinking. Mm-hmm. It's just with a with a lineage like that, some money like that, how, yeah. what that could set up. Give it to your mom or yeah. something. I don't I, know. I'm thinking but about the legacy. mom older. Give it to your niece. He better have a niece. <laughs> <laughs> okay? You know I what he better have a niece or a nephew. No he bullshit. Gotta, he really got to keep it in the family for real. On some Mitch shit. 
For real. All right, get out. That was it. That was your third. That was your third. That was your third. That was your third. That was your third strike of the day. Yeah, Find what? a cousin. Get out. That you really fuck <laughs> and with. Bless her. Get out. And just bless her. Get out. I feel <laughs> him and Mitch. Gang. Damn. <laughs> Twins. Twins. <laughs> yo, speaking of cousins. Wait. Yo, hey, you be knowing families and cousins and shit OD. sometimes. For OD. real? Oh. Look at Reggie. Yo, Reggie's like, you good? What are you about to say? Yo, what's up? You good? I know your cousin. I I don't know. Yeah, uh -oh. I know your cousin. Yeah, Don't your business out like that. Yeah, I didn't say shit. Yeah, you basically to... said hey, what like, you said. What, hey, we, you we can didn't know what I was hey, talking about. We can Niggas, infer. Like, you didn't know what hey, I was talking Reggie, about. It's his family. I know his cousin. <laughs> I know his brothers. I know his mother. <laughs> I know his father. My mother. I know his God other father. Damn, nigga. You ain't gotta know my mom. I know everything. I know his other father. I don't know him like that. Wait, y'all. I'm saying I know him. Y'all are family Eskimo twins. What the fuck? All right, you about to get kicked out too, nigga. This has been a need well, to know not, podcast. Not, not Eskimo, my fault, not Eskimo. What the family? hell did you just ask Y'all a family, y'all a family. Nah, no, 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 we not. Nah. I just asked if he knew my family and shit sometimes. Yeah, I be knowing. That's it? We, what? Do you see niggas? We all, I, bro. <laughs> yo, we read in between the lines, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, and he's mad at me for pointing it out. <laughs> no, Reggie, because you was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you were saying it on the mic. I'm like, oh, is that what's going on? <laughs> I did that. Yeah, you did that. My That's fault, crazy. Man. My fault, That's man. Crazy. My fault. <laughs> you go to that was a good uh, you go like, random tangent. <laughs> hey, hey, I got one question. If I had one <laughs> wish, we yeah. would be best friends. We would be cousins. You. Whoa, no. why do you. Y'all want to be cousins? Not in the context of this episode. <laughs> you are struck out. You are struck out. Niggas struck never want to be my family You are struck out. No, that would be really weird if we were all cousins. I would love the, yeah. all of us to be family somehow. Nah, we all family. No, please, please. I like it like Lord, this. Lord, no. Y'all no. don't think I would take care of one of y'all family members for real? That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and that's the issue. All right, but hold on. You got it queued up? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, I don't got that cute. You don't got a cute? I ain't got that cute. You though. slacking on your pimping I'm twin. I ain't going to lie, crazy. bro. What's up with you? We talking about Yachty. I know, okay. but I don't listen right? to that. So I didn't know which song you were talking about. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. One or three? The, the one. Well, I'm going to play the three and hope it's the one. <laughs> Let me hear. No, no. The other one, no. He get literally out of it. told get you out of which one to play. <laughs> okay. Why? Why? Drizzy. Drizzy. Okay. <sighs> Load that a little bit. Drake is back mm. with a 100 gigs part two. Okay. Another three pack. Uh, last week we spoke about uh, the other three records that placed on Billboard and how well they did. This week, he surprised us again. And he's uploading everything up to this hard drive link in his uh, Finsta bio, which is plots, twist. <laughs> he really spells it like that. There's like a thousand T's and a yeah. thousand T's everywhere. It's a little spicy. Yeah, a little spicy. New three pack. And um, I like it a lot. Mm. I like it a lot. Uh, a part of the three pack is the SOD joint, which is the song that he got into it about. Well, not really him. More, maybe more so Yachty because he made it a, a podcast appearance and spoke about it. Uh, the song with Mr. Hotspot, where Hotspot essentially just wanted a clean version of the record that both Drake and Yachty got on, which is SOD Super Soak. On this new version that's on that three pack, there is no little Yachty. There is just Drake on that record. And I, I, I got to say, man, uh, my favorite record on this three pack, Sarcadian Rhythm. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we heard Kendrick Lamar reference that. Uh, in the beef when they were going back and forth. I think that was like 616 in LA or so. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm sorry. But what I will say is I can definitely confirm to myself that yeah, he's definitely been trying to get feelers out of us. Mm -hmm. Right? When I think maybe how he saw how those last three songs went, he goes, you know what? What 2 Chain said with LeBron shit, I'm going to give him a deluxe. Give him another one. That's what LeBron said about two chains. Oh, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't you think, my man. yeah, I got you. You my man. That's why I fuck with you. <laughs> Gave him three more, but I wish he would have came out the gate with these with this? three. Yeah. No bullshit. Imagine, imagine if Drake took like a quick hiatus after the whole beef. Mm -hmm. When I say quick hiatus, I mean, 
month and a half, two months tops. Mm -hmm. And he start with that. Mm -hmm. Where he's shooting at everybody. Right? My whole beef when he was going back with Kendrick Lamar was, yo, this ain't the time to be shooting at other people or worried mm -hmm. about other artists who don't like you. You got to mm -hmm. kill on the other side of that, on that, on that road. You Let's focus. That. Let's you focus right now. Yep, yep. This is the time where, where the dust settles a little bit. There's been time for people to process and miss you and think. Granted, he can do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. He's essentially has an entire documentary out, right? If you yeah. piece all of the clips and footage that he's released on 100 gigs. For sure. But if he would have just took two months off and came back with this, and came back with this, I don't. I think most people don't have a problem with it. Now, I'll tell you what I don't like on this. Save on. Don't forget what she was going to say because I knew he was about to say something. Only thing I don't like on this three pack is the second verse of Sod. Uh, Sod was originally recorded in 2021, so you can hear how he just took Yachty's verse off and just gave us a pretty lax mm -hmm. uh, uh, performance on that second verse. Uh, also, No Face, I get it, which is the one you just played. Sounds like a Playboy Cardi type beat. It's kind of new school. Kind of sounds like Savon's not grungy. Savon's not going to know this name, like a Ken Carson type beat. Oh, I don't I know. Have no idea what that <laughs> is. Gotcha. He's, he's, he's in Playboy Cardi's Shout camp. out to Ken. Yeah, and I think that was a great way of <laughs> showcasing how Drake can rap mm -hmm. with like new style sound. Wait, okay. Alex, yeah, you, yeah. You, you saying Drake should have taken like a month and a month and a half off and dropped his three pack and dropped the three pack is, is you think that's your hindsight speaking yes absolutely i feel okay. like i can only speak from my hindsight because that's what we were, we're dealing with because at the time yeah. would you have said the same thing yes because mm -hmm. on the first three pack just last week i told you how they charted nothing mm -hmm. was inside of the top 20 on billboard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. this is drake we're talking this about. is drake we're talking about with features from 21 savage young thug lotto they didn't even chart inside the 20. This three, now I don't think these are like perfect songs or anything like that, but these are very strong. Yeah. They're good. These are, these are strong. And they're not on DSPs. Well, yeah. Not on I'm, DSPs yet. I'm, I'm gonna, time is recording. I'm going to speak for the community who thrives in convenience. Mm. And what I mean by that is if I can't open up Apple Music or Spotify and listen to it, it's probably not going to connect with me in, in a certain way that it should. I did hear these songs. I heard snippets and they kind of came and they went. Um, I think once I have the accessibility to listen to them, then maybe I can give you a better idea or like better. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, once yeah. it's in actually in my phone, I'll go tap back in. Right. Nothing sounds horrible, but I think the thing and in, in the gift and the curse of being Drake is nothing he puts out is going to sound horrible. Right. Yeah, We're nah. only going to be able to compare Drake to Drake at this point. Is just like LeBron James. We can only compare LeBron James to pretty much LeBron James in today's NBA. Um, so when when I hear these songs and when I've heard these songs, they all sound good. And everything that Drake has put out from the Camille Cabela feature, from the Sexy Red the Gordo to Jones. the Gordo, everything he has put out has sounded good. Right, I don't want to take that away from him. Like, nothing hasn't sounded like terrible. Not bad. Nothing yeah, sounds yeah, yeah. bad yeah. that Drake has put out virtually ever yeah. which is why he is drake the problem is the arena that you were in you were trying to dance outside of it right i saw somebody tweet the other day kendrick lamar has actually impacted how i listen to drake i saw that tweet and that is how some of us not all of us because there's some mm -hmm. people who disregard anything that kendrick yeah. said mm -hmm. anything that kendrick did mm -hmm. some people think the battle was just for shits and gigs and they mm -hmm. kept it pushing mm -hmm. there's other people like myself and i'm only speaking to the people because there's this narrative on social media that i hate drake <laughs> me too there's a narrative that i it's hate crazy. drake there's a narrative that like and i get, get it whatever that. the case may be but the issue that I have or the observation mm -hmm. that I have with the whole Drake and Kendrick thing stems from this was a rap, a hip hop battle. Yeah. Now I'm going to refer to uh, the Joe Budden podcast on this. Um, one of the podcasts who gets a LL Cool J and a Styles Shout P the within the same week. Right. I listen and I watch those episodes. And when I hear Styles P talk, it reminds me of why I fell in love with rap. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of why I love hip hop, the competitiveness of it, the art of it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They're like, he refers to a certain caliber of MCs as Jedis. Mm -hmm. And what Styles P says is, 
only Jedi's could talk to other Jedi's. Jedi's for sure. You know, like we're in a different class. Yes, we all make music, mm -hmm. but we all don't speak the same language. Mm -hmm. We all ain't making the same shit. Mm -hmm. And when you're in a battle, that is how I expect you to show up as a quote unquote Jedi, right. which a lot of people question Drake to be, but we know Kendrick is. Mm -hmm. And so everything that Drake has done after the Kendrick thing, and I don't understand or I don't expect everybody to understand or be able to digest what a Jedi is. Right? right? I think some people just see people for who they are as an artist just and as numbers. Mm -hmm. But there's a certain level to this, this, this hip hop shit, this rap shit, this battle shit that we appreciate and has built the culture. I agree. And that is the issue that a lot of us have with Drake is that you just didn't respect that aspect of this. Yes, you're great. Yes, you're always going to be able to make hits and all that shit. Nobody's taking that from you. But when it comes to being a competitor, when it comes to being a quote unquote Jedi, as the great Styles P likes to refer to those elite MCs and lyricists, you fell short. And that's it. And that's it. To that tweet that you just brought up, right? And that was a great point you just made, right? That's, could you read that tweet for me one more time? For sure. The tweet says, Kendrick Lamar has actually impacted how I listen to Drake. Now, when I first saw that tweet, I will be honest, I thought it was Dick Rodden at first. <laughs> I go say it. And you were like, oh, brother. Uh, yeah, I was like, another nigga done changed the way how you consume music. What the fuck? Then I sat with the tweet for a little bit. And I, I understood it a little bit more. Only because when you get the breakdowns on Not Like Us, where Kendrick was breaking down how Drake went to Atlanta, right? When he's doing the breakdowns of, hey, y'all, this dude looks like he has an identity crisis. As a listener now, you're hearing somebody that is so powerful with his pen and being Kendrick Lamar and so true to himself now, where it's like, all right, though the war has passed, as you listen to Drake's music now, we only compare Drake to Drake but you can't help to think about the things that were mentioned yeah. in that riff. Like a, like a damn, <laughs> was he right? Yeah, type of thing. Exactly, type of thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. First yeah. I'm like, yo, you dick riding, bro. Like, what the fuck? And that's another thing too, to Savon's point. Mm -hmm. There are people that think this is a we hate Drake podcast. We don't. We, it's not. It's really not. <laughs> if anything, we were really just given how we felt on that. And during that uh, riff, Savon was talking about having his cape for Drake. OVO yeah. cape. I came in here, even though I was a big advocate for Kendrick's music during the beef. But when he did this, the concert and he had Dr. Dre up there and he over here talking about how people in Drake's camp have funny cases, I came up on this podcast and what I said, that looks a little funny, Kenny. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're going to call it straight. We're going to call it tall. But there's a way to, there's a way to digest an artist without necessarily, uh, what's the word for it? Like giving in to general thought. Like letting other things influence Yeah, yeah. your but view with, on them? Yeah, but with this, I could see how people actually got yeah. affected. I, I mean, Kendrick me. did read Drake to filth a little bit, and <laughs> yeah. that's why people say that Kendrick won the battle. Yeah, no bullshit. Reggie, you, do you mind reading that? Because that kind of speaks exactly to what it is that you're talking to. The tweet or the screenshots? Oh, all or of everything. It, the whole thing. So there's a tweet from Andres Wrights. It says, it's almost as if Kendrick Lamar rebuttaled this new Drake song, No Face, in advance on Meet the Grams. So no, in No Face, Drake says, my therapist put a 30-day notice because I keep on talking about beefing and business and money and women. It's no diagnosis. Yeah. And then on Meet the Grams, which was a while ago, uh, uh, over a month ago, Kendrick Lamar says, therapy's a lovely start, but I suggest some ayahuasca. Strip the ego from the bottom. Like that's maniacal. Oh shit! If so, <laughs> like if somebody tells me they got a, they got changed off of Drake's perception because of Kendrick, I feel him. That's that's, it. that's maniacal. <laughs> That's, I feel him. No, that's maniacal. It is. And the it's, nigga, they, come on. It's things like that. When that's you're, maniacal. When, how could you wait, not wait, be Kendrick just, up in there? When you're how, a Jedi. You just yes. showed me the tweet and I'm just like. You fucked your head up. <laughs> when you're, a, when you're one of those, riding? you don't step into the trap like that. Yeah. You don't walk into the trap like that when you're yeah. one of those. And again, maybe he's not one of those and that's cool because he. I think he makes some of the best music that we've ever had. That's never going to change. it's two different arenas and I don't think, again, you can't, you, you have to be able to separate the two right. if you really grew up in a certain 
certain era and time of hip hop. You're right. And you understand the history of hip hop and the competitiveness of hip hop. Like you have to. Like it's not about who you like more, who you like. I don't give a fuck about either one of these guys. Mm -hmm. no, I we don't, don't know these niggas. I don't know them. We don't know these niggas. I wish them happy, we just healthy lives <laughs> yeah, and, and raise their niggas. children to be great people. Yeah. But when it comes to the art, which when you put your art out there, right? We record a podcast every single week. We put social clips out there. We put this podcast, these episodes out there. And then whatever people say about me, I have to take it. Y'all say I got a funny mustache. Cool. What I'm supposed to <laughs> That's do? What they, say? they say my beard don't connect. That's great. It don't. What I, the I fuck? No, that shit connecting like LTE, I my get, friend. Like it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, I got you, I got you, someday, someday. That was good, I got you, I got you. That was good. That was good. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, Once yeah. I press play yeah. and record on these cameras and these microphones and I put it out for the world, I embrace all that comes with it. So for anybody who says anything disparaging against your favorite artist, it comes with it. Nigga, get off they dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nah, get in your bag. Real talk. Well, something for the Drake fans. Yeah. Just, you know, to end this on a on a Drakey note. So when Alex introduced this topic, he was kind of like saying, oh, now that the dust has settled a little bit, this is what I wish Drake would have came out with, with his comeback songs. Yeah. And didn't Drake post on his Instagram story a clip of Rashid Wallace mm -hmm. saying like, yo, we're going we're to win, win game, game two. two. Game two. Yeah. What do we think? Like, is this even a possibility? You just, I'm, or glad you just, like, I'm glad you just brought that up, Reggie, because there are rumors circulating that Kendrick Lamar is on the way. Oh, because Big Sean is dropping. <laughs> You got I, it. I wouldn't be surprised if they dropped the same Wait, part two. <laughs> you seen the nigga? No, I thought there was there was rumors that Kendrick is kind of not gonna drop anything anymore. That we thought he was gonna. Wait, new, which one is? Well, they, got, they got some new stuff circulating, Reggie. Okay, 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 that yeah. the people in his team are paying for certain advertising, paying for certain things. You know, in preparation of a rollout. Again, Wait, we could please. be yeah, yeah, we could be wrong, but this would be another prime time for him to I, drop. I would love that because I, I want I want the rap beef to keep going. Honestly, like I find it, I, <laughs> I, it's, it's yeah. beautiful. But you like please, that beef shit? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> rap beef, rap beef, uh, and hot dogs, uh, <laughs> Nathan's. Um, so no, I I do want this to continue, but yeah. please, Kendrick. Just give Big Sean a break. <laughs> Do not drop Reggie, please. on August. What is it? What is this Friday? I think it's 30th or this some Friday. shit. Oh, uh, please do not, Kendrick Lamar, please do not drop on August 30th. Please just give Big Sean a, just, just let him have this one. He got COVID. Please. I'm being so serious. Like, he was I just, crying. I don't know about you guys, but I, I want Big Sean to win. No, like, me too. I he really won. do. And what? Uh, now it's over. What he won? What he won? He won. He won. He won. He life. Yeah. He got Janae. But but he ain't he don't think that. He was all good music. He don't think that. He does. <laughs> he won. He got a U. He ain't think he won. You ain't hear him. They got shit to work on. <laughs> he got on. a hairline. <laughs> yeah. he, has a great, he has a great like, hairline. He won. This nigga's so, great. And a beard. <sighs> and I don't know. No, him winning. This album means yeah. a lot to him. He hasn't dropped in years. And for him to have a successful rollout, that will make me so happy. Damn, yeah. that's good. I, I can see it. I, I can want, see it happening I right want now. him to. Oh. Is it? Imagine Kendrick Damn. drops on Friday. Oh, my God. He I don't think not. he will. He better not. I, I, think, he he I don't, don't think he's he going to drop. This. I don't think he's going <laughs> to drop the same time as Big Sean. I'll be so yeah. sad. Be so I do bad. think, and 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 you know, so Drake seemingly, he seems to be hinting at like a round two, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh god, it's round two, right? Like, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel Me if either. you're gonna come take back, the L and D. yeah, take that. Like, it's okay. <laughs> it's you got okay. everybody Just, take L's. You are, you, yeah, it's fine. But if you're gonna come back. I think you need to make sure that you actually do win, right? Whatever war you, you start. You can't fuck up twice. Yeah, you cannot. Like, <laughs> That's did, career suicide Please remember what point. you want to say, Savon. Didn't Kendrick say he still got more in yeah. stock? Still, in the, still got more in the top. One, two, three, four, five, plus five. Devil is a lie. He is 69. And guy. you say that? That nigga told his ass to stay and ass inside. So, so, Drake, if you think you got a round two coming, what make you think this nigga don't got a round 30? Well, <laughs> whatever Drake is preparing for, I, I think it's already the greatest hip hop beef that I've ever seen. I think Same. it's the greatest hip hop beef ever of all time. Uh, but if 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 it does reignite somehow, I think mm. you know Drake just come better, like come with a better strategy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just just be prepared, a little bit more prepared this time, right? Like if you're gonna poke the bear, Focused. you gotta kill a bear. Mm. Don't just poke the bear. Mm. Mm, maybe like he that. has all this hundred gigs thing. Like that's the theme of this month. Maybe he's kind of hinting at like, yo, I have some archives on Kendrick. Well, you he, know what's funny you say that mm, because like I have some blackmail mm, or something. The the what I've been seeing in the streets of Reddit mm -hmm. um, files is that he has been dropping a lot of this BTS footage that seems to be like it could have been for a documentary or whatever the case may be. But 
you see in The weekend in some of these clips. Um, I don't know if y'all caught the conversation Kanye. he had with YG, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Um, he recorded he was on. a conversation with YG and yeah. DJ Mustard saying, and YG was like, yo, thank you for sending this verse. And they was excited about the verse. So a lot of the people who seem to have issues or who have seemed to pick a side in this Drake and, and Kendrick beef, he seems to be pulling out some light receipts on them. Light yeah. receipts. Like, yo. And it's anticipated that he may, you know, because <laughs> him and uh, Kendrick went on tour together. Mm -hmm. So I could imagine, and they have had a relationship at some point. And we haven't seen that footage yet. We haven't seen that footage yeah, if it yeah. exists. So right, right. there may be a world where he's trying to lead up to, hey, Kendrick, do you not remember when you said this and when this happened and the position that I was in and the position that you was in at that time? And we don't know what could be there, but I did see some conspiracies that that may come. And when that comes, the ball may drop on the quote unquote round two initiation. Is that going to land though? I if Look, he plays his card right, it could land. Nah, the, we'll the way that nigga called you a pedophile. Had niggas crip walking. Little little kids too. How, how, how about how not like us stayed in the top ten all throughout the summer? Yeah. It gotta be strong. You got, this can't just this has to be a a, a a outstanding win. But like you said, Alex, if he's more focused, <laughs> yeah. I could see him actually, you know, landing a lot of punch a lot more punches than he did last time. Hey, that flow on that no face song we just played here. I like that a lot. Nah, that was tough. It ain't enough. It ain't enough. I'm just saying what I like. Wait, hold on. How did it go again? The uh, wait, can you? Ah, do... ah, yeah. it, this is a You're reach. This is a reach. You just breathing. This is a reach. <laughs> no, 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 hold up, hold up. No, no, no. But so you know how the snippet and then not like us music video, the mm. ah, 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 reincarnated. I need I'm all my mad. baby. Like, is, that, is he kind of like referencing that, or is that I, a reach? Hey, reach. I'm not mad at that. On that clip that Savon was just referencing about how he dropped some clips on people who were mentioning his beef, like the weekend. Mm -hmm. In that weekend clip, <laughs> this is from like 2013 or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a group of people. They walk into the room. They all greet Drake. They dap him. He greets everyone, looks everyone in the face, and doesn't dap the weekend. No, the weekend he, just sitting there all stupid and he, dumb. Not only did he not greet the weekend initially, <laughs> he was having full blown conversations with everyone there. Just and talking then later around on, him. was talking in the direction of the weekend, and then and then started to started to look like he was dapping him up, and then the footage cut out. And that was purposeful, yeah. Reggie. So to your point, nothing's off the table. And and I see like yeah. Drake, he keeps kind of playing like the the social media games, and again, just referring back to because I think there's. There's some people who I've seen in the last few weeks, months, whatever, even over just the course of their career who really speak to the essence of hip hop, right? Somebody like a Killer Mike and again, a Styles P. Drake seems to, and what we know of Drake is he plays internet games, right? Mm -hmm. He likes to play internet games. He likes to throw subliminals. He likes to use Instagram as a tool to kind of garner some interest or maybe throw some subs, right? Mm -hmm. Your legacy is not going to be one. Your hip hop rap legacy is not going to be salvaged by the internet, right? The, the people that's on the internet, the people that point. you're catering to are not the people who matter when it comes to this is where we see you in the grand scheme of this rap hip hop shit. Now, what I will say is I do like the approach of 100 gigs because it does kind of flash back you back into uh, the blog era a little bit. Or where you kind of just have to go find music and do things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Because the kids don't come from that era. We come from that era and the people older than us come from that era. So I do like that approach. I also do feel like streaming kind of took away how fans actually want to go look for music. Real talk. Because oh, yeah. it can be a bit overwhelming, yo. Well, I said that. I said I yeah. need the convenience. So those yeah. three songs that he dropped that you love, yeah. it doesn't really resonate with me because at this point, we're not in the blog ever no more. Right. I remember coming home and going to Hot New Hip Hop mm -hmm. and looking at the release of everything that dropped that day, remember? that week. That was the time. That piss. We're no longer in that time. So if I can't just open up my phone and get it, I don't really want to hear that shit. Yeah. There's nowhere for me to hear that shit. And I want to go back... To the the point that you just made mm -hmm. about you said um damn what the fuck did you I was talking about I was talking about uh, consuming music consuming the music streaming mm -hmm. um oh, spoke about Kendrick I'm sorry I, I lost my train of thought no you're fine you're fine but you're fine. when when it comes to this this in particular arena yeah. I think that the internet is not gonna save his his what it is that he's trying to quote unquote save I agree with that it's like what is it gonna take for him to get that yeah. And, and, and I'm, I'm thinking too, if he's dropping 
the three pack, and it was six songs now, right? Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I consider those Lucy's, right? So mm-hmm. that means he's got to have something in the tuck. Like well, leading, a lot more he's leading up to, to something. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to. Because I, I, I don't see him giving away his best songs just like that. No. Oh, if, yeah, yeah, if it yeah, is yeah. beef. If anything, like you said, these are the ones like, yo, I can salvage, salvage these, yeah. right? Like, it's fine. I can let these go to the wayside. We'll, we'll, see. See. well we, we, we will we see. We shall see. Yeah. Um, the, the Our era of artist music. Let's mm-hmm. just see how these things unfold. I do want to shout out Wale. Wale announced that he's dropping new music. He's going on tour. Excited. Uh, I know last week Mandy came in here. She tried to shit on Wale. She tried to shit on Meek. everybody that wasn't Two Chains, um, <laughs> pretty much. But I, I do want to make sure we highlight that because yeah. they're still artists doing their thing. I agree, and yeah. I wanted to highlight Travis Scott's Rodeo, uh, Days Before Rodeo, mm-hmm. finally available on streaming, and its first week numbers. I think it did two seventeen. Mm. What first week? Wow. That's on a re release. As it should. As it, as it should. Oh my as god! It, that, no, but that's like incredible for twenty twenty four. That's a that's a clap. Like that's a. I, I would go to say f- that's one of the better albums in his catalog. I of course. I think that's probably the second. In in, in my opinion, I think Birds in the Trap first, and yeah. then Days Before Rodeo. Yeah. And then um, Astro World for me. Astro- if I had to rank his three best projects, not mad at that. I think I'd go Astro World, Beebs in the Trap. Thieves in the trap. That's birds in the trap. Birds in the trap. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about the song. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I know. It's all good. <laughs> fault, y'all. Yeah, birds in the trap sing McKnight. And, and days before rodeo. Yeah, and days. You know what's tough? Mm. I go to And them. I didn't expect for yeah. us to really talk about this, but mm. this album. So y'all know I used to smoke. <gasps> I mean breaking, okay, I knew that. Okay. breaking news. No, no. <laughs> I think, no. you, I think I think you might have yeah. told us that in I confidence a while ago. I, I wouldn't lie. No, I know because I know your shit. brothers. I know your brothers. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> don't put them on the spot like that. Damn. Damn. Oh shit. Wait, Damn. Nigga, that's I don't know. I'm the oldest. You right? said I know your family, <laughs> nigga. Fuck? You the one that said it. I know your family. Okay. <laughs> you the one that said it. Uh huh. Now when I know niggas, it's a problem. <laughs> that's why I don't want to know people. Don't know me, nigga. <laughs> I don't know. Days Before Rodeo has to be number one though, because solely because they have. Drugs you should try. Yeah, that one. I remember. Oh my god, Mama Sita. When I was this is in a hoopty. Ah, oh. smoking Yo. that thing. Niggas used to go crazy to this <laughs> going shit. Going crazy. Like, I had this in my phone for years. I'm say, duh. This is one of the ones. Oh, you MP3? This one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you YouTube converted this yeah, one. We converted this one. <laughs> I saw this live at Syracuse University. Ooh. Life changing. I-, I can imagine. I saw so, that. Yeah, um, uh, amazing project. Yeah, shout um, out to Travis Scott. Also, before we get out of here, yeah, I know nobody's gonna hear this because bad news travels way faster than good news. When people make mistakes, apologies always kind of stay in the echo chamber that they are in. But not only do I owe my 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 castmates, my friends, an apology, I also apologize to the AMP folks. Thank you. Oh yeah, to that community. Look at Thank God. you. To Kai Sinat. Good. To um, Duke Dennis, Dennis. Duke Dennis, Duke Phantom, Dennis, Duke Phantom, Dennis, Phantom, Chris, Chris, Chris um, and, and, and Davis, Davis, yeah, yeah, and Davis, yeah, that, group group leader. I Thank do you. want to make sure that I w- I was not tapped in. I know. And the we thing know. about social media clips, they're gonna tap you. They're gonna learn you quick. Not that they're gonna learn. They're gonna tap you. You know what? But they don't allow for us to say like I did say I didn't know shit about shit. <laughs> okay, no, no, but that's the thing. I I you know I am not up to date on everything like i'm yeah. the first person to be like yo i don't know about everything about everything but the thing about that conversation was <laughs> that was our point about, we're like save on we think you should you know we, we, research a little bit before yes. this take now, but you're like no we were trying to it. we were trying to save you from <laughs> you. Was. you and you reggie just going, say now, like, now the clip that's out on social media doesn't reflect <laughs> how hard reggie and i really defended and P- the no, AMP pierre crew most, and yeah. pierre as yeah, well let me not forget pierre so you don't necessarily have to apologize to us we already told you nigga we were telling you that day. We were like, Kai the last person to join <laughs> AMP. Like, and I did say Chris had not, Chris V had nothing to do with, right. he was a cameraman. He had nothing to do with the main core of the, of the crew. Um, I, f- I just forgot the train of thought I was going to say. Um, it's all good. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll come back to you. Fucked up on this pod. Damn. Yeah, it was going crazy. This the ain't no shit pod. <laughs> we ain't no shit, though. <laughs> no, this is the need to know, okay? Don't we put that no in the universe. Shit. Don't put that shit in. I ain't no shit. Okay. No, but that's good. <laughs> referring to that topic, because I really that's didn't good. know shit. Yeah. And I'm so I sorry for that. I cannot wait to clip that. I ain't no shit. <laughs> yeah. And mean, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. They have a lot of supporters. They got yeah. a lot of people who's frying me. Again, the first thing that people go to is the beard. The beard. Yeah, yeah. It's a little fucked up. I know. Like, even my dad looked at me and 
was like, yo, nigga, why are you trying to look Dominican? I said, nigga, <laughs> this is your genetics this is on genetics. my face. Don't just Dominican like, like that. I don't have the full beard because <laughs> of on, something that happened not, with you and my mom. Look good. Your beard is not bad. It's on. Not, on camera, it don't translate. I do feel what? you because you're being not photogenic. Nah, there's some things like girls won't girls won't understand. Like your makeup could look so good in person, but on camera it does not translate. It's just so, it. yeah. but it, and it's okay. I can't yeah. change. Like I gotta love the things about me that I can't change. Love that. Amen. I, I will say the clip did what it was supposed to do. So now yeah. I just want to say, scare me shitless. What? No. Nah, <laughs> to everybody listening, right? The way the the team cuts the clips is, and how, the way sometimes I cut the clips is this way. I take a lot of out of context stuff. Oh my god! To create a storyline to get you guys to react Fried. to it. Thanks, Pierre. But well, to get them to react to it. Thanks a lot, Pierre. And then sometimes, you know, if Savon says something crazy or like Wild or Alex or Reggie, just usually doesn't say anything crazy. Reggie's the, the smarter one out of all four of us. Oh, I, for sure. No uh, I, I will shut up about mini skirts from now on, though. <laughs> but, a little insider with our with our listeners. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it did what it was supposed to do. Um, I did um, send a link to the um, to the, to you guys to the group chat mm -hmm. on Sunday, I think it was. Um, so I hopped on um, YouTube and a random click popped up. I clicked it. It said, "Hey, the, I think the, the title was Should Kai Sanat Leave AMP." So I'm like, "All right, what's this about? Look at what we're doing <laughs> to the internet." Here yeah, go save all so, face, right? Here. Stupid ass face. I click it. It's a guy talking, right? And then. <laughs> On With the, his on, moisturized full beard. <laughs> Facts. Amen. On the left side of the screen, it's the clip pulled up, save on right at the middle. I'm like, oh, nah. They got me. They got, nah, they, you, they got me. They, they got learned you. me. They learned me. ain't got a lot. I've been learned a few times. Salute. I did not expect, like, I'm just <laughs> mad people. Like, Damn from it, like you can't fuck with the new No, I kind of I kind of <laughs> expected Kai's, like, and AMP's fan base to yeah. really come nah, at Shout us. out to them. Yeah. Like, they was telling me how unsuccessful I was and shit. <laughs> oh, my like, you goodness. Bum -ass oh. You have no right to talk about them. <laughs> Pack up the podcast equipment. Yeah, man. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And I understand. Yeah. And the same way that I wasn't familiar with them, y'all may not be familiar with me. And that is okay. That's fair. <laughs> they, oh, were that's like, okay. They, they were like, yo, they called it the need to know. They don't know shit. And yo, I did it. We're going to be hearing that now, we for, knew. for so long. <laughs> See, he didn't like, y'all don't know shit, but yeah. you're the need to know podcast. Yeah, yeah, no. That's fire when you don't know shit, but say you know. <laughs> no, it's not. Nah, not on the need hard. to know. That's all. No, it nah, ain't. Savon was standing. Somebody also said in the comments, like, yo, Savon. You had three people, uh, Reggie, <laughs> me, and, and Alex, telling you that this is not a hill that you need to die, die on. on. And he still died on the hill. <laughs> he still hey. died right there. Nah, sometimes you just got to die. <sighs> no, you don't. And please don't do that as you're listening. Uh, if you're drinking glacier water, nigga, sometimes you just <laughs> okay, try to die. Back, nigga. Yes. I'm just letting you is know. Is he okay? I don't I think he's okay. Know. We'll get up we, need a, we need to give it a week. Luda. <laughs> we need a Luda update. Um, <laughs> real quick before we get out of here, and this is gonna be real quick. Shout out to Cash Code Bane, man, for sure. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. He Play Cash Code I like always, that. Always. Okay, uh, come on, gang. Wait, what'd you say? What'd okay, you say? Uh, come say on. It again. I'm here today. Say it again. Wait, 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 for, wait, sure. for sure. For sure. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Cash Code Man. Um, this is gonna be quick as hell. He's I, blushing. You see him? He like I turn, I turn coral like my shit. Oh, shit. He 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 hey. <laughs> no, y'all niggas See, was like, he was like, <laughs> I'm trying to be, I'm nah, trying to be serious, but he keep making me laugh. Yeah, he just chefed that up real oh, quick. That was nice. That, that was, was nice. good. He hyped. But yeah, big shout out to Cash. His album came out this week. Played Cash Cobain, and I love it. It's a vibe from type to, top to bottom. Um, some criticism that he actually addressed was that some people thought that the album sounded like one long ass song. <laughs> he corrected you guys and and told you that there's a plethora of flows on there, and I have to agree with that as well. Uh, featured artist was great. Quavo took off on the intro. I love when artists get with a certain producer and the producer's bag just allows for that artist to go into another level, another chamber. Mm -hmm. That was great to hear on the intro. Uh, the, the single off that album, which is Problem, you guys probably heard it there. That's just not, not my problem. problem. Which is Layla. Mm. Layla, who is most deaf's do real daughter. Mm. Salute to that, you know. Uh, it was like 2024, We Are the World. Mm -hmm. Featured 14 artists, song was long as hell, Big Sean, <laughs> Flo Millie, Chow Lee, etc. I just wanted to say that the album is really good. It's a nice vibe. And like he said, he makes music for women. I feel like us men get enough. Mm. We've gotten enough over the years. Allow that young man to talk about pussy. <laughs> He does make songs for women, <laughs> yep. majority wise, but yep. the men love him too. So yeah, because they talk about pussy. I, I like what he has going for him. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. You know, a different take on the drill. Mm. 
Mm. Shout out to Charlie, shout out to Lonnie Love, shout out to Cash Cobain. We're talking about the originators here, the creators, you know what I mean? And I like what they brought to the drill space. We don't got to sure. shoot and kill niggas. We could talk about enjoying each sex. other's time and sex. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. There's a lot of different vices in this world. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. What are you about to say? Not, 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 not doing it. Nope, not doing it. Eat ass? Um, no, I wasn't even going to go to Pierre Land. Like, no, oh, not doing it. He, he, he called it there. Pierre Land when it's, it's clear that everybody, I don't know about Reggie, but it's clear that Alex, I'm going to put the camera right on you. Alex has done it before and Savon has done it before. It was an accident. You guys were trying to teach me how to do it. So how is, the, how is it now Pierre Land? I'm, I'm going to teach you by accident. I'm going to teach you by accident. Because you you curious. You have to he just do curious. it. Yeah, he's you curious. You got to just do it, bro. It's really... That's why I'm egging him on, because I know you're curious. And like, again, you, some booty you butter. have what? a ring on your finger. Yeah. Like, when you locked in like that, there's nothing you really can't, can't do. do. Listen, listen. I, I, anybody who's married, I, I can't say they ain't asked before. Yes, you, ask, you ask your friends? Like your other friends? Yeah, ask them. So you... It's nah, no way. I, I, got, I got one friend that I know right now... He told me he's done it before, but I'm. Just, I got, I had questions for him too. I'm like, yo, bro, like I don't know. You grown? You crazy, bro? <laughs> you never been you possessed by sex? Wait, what? No, for real. By no, no, for have real. For real. Been... We have to end the episode. Nobody <laughs> listen this far. <laughs> we can get this off. Yeah, yeah. And then we like, and this is for the, the group outside yeah, yeah. of Reggie. Yeah, yeah. This is for the, like, <laughs> you have never been. Possessed by a sex demon, like in heat, where you just start doing shit you ain't never thought you well, would like do. Some, basically, like, like something takes over you. It's takes out over. of you're watching yourself <laughs> eat ass. Yeah, no, no, I've yeah, never been possessed right. by a sex demon. I rebuke that. Uh, in we rebuke that in the name of Jesus. In the oh, name yeah. of Jesus. Come on, you know he's religious. <laughs> we rebuke that. <laughs> me too. We rebuke that. We don't do devil. But I, I, if you're asking me, have I ever been in heat or like really horny? Nah, you is a puppy? It, no. That's you right. see, you're like, listen to how you, you refer to yourself. Have nah, like, I been horny? I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to, dis, I'm trying like, to disseminate what nah, you, like, I'm trying to rephrase. Alex, do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, help, help what you're me saying, understand. Like, that's what happened with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. His story. His story. Yes, yes, that's bro. what happened. The, oh, it was a sex demon. I gotta pray. <laughs> that's what, bro. I'm telling you, because I never. It's thought okay, you're good now. Like there, when I you bet. do things you think you would never do, it's really when it's not you, but it's you. Yeah, it's true. Legit. Like right. it's you just get mm -hmm. you just mm -hmm. it's. Uh, do you know, it. I'm gonna think about that for next week. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm gonna think about that. I right, keep us updated. Yeah, uh, all right. this is great. All right, I won't. This is great. We'll give the update on Patreon. Yes. Okay. Uh, this has been the Need to Know podcast. <laughs> what you need to know, when you need to know, and the Need to Know podcast. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. You should if you made it all the way here. And uh, <laughs> peace, gang, 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 Bye. gang. Deuces. Eat some ass on your way out. <laughs> Let Pierre know how it goes. No. Make sure you curl your toes. DM. Give us a Yelp review and bend it over all to the floor. DM. Save on Alex the footage if you record it. Booty oh butter. Oh my packs. gosh. That sounds illegal. Booty butter? <laughs> Booty butter. Episode title? No. 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 <laughs> no. What's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? You are about to tap into our Patreon. We promised y'all. We told y'all. We've been giving it up crazy over there. Y'all about to get a snippet. Uh, please do not judge me. Don't judge us. Don't judge all of us. Yeah, because we really give it up over there. I've been loving the episodes that we've been doing. I have, I have. We've been doing them in the comfort of our homes, but the mm -hmm. content has still been as if we're in the studio. Very yes. intimate. Yeah, for, for sure, sure, for sure. sure, sure. And uh, if you enjoy what you're listening to, if you're what you're about to hear, that is available in the description below. So please make sure y'all click there, tap, sign up. We are giving y'all extra episodes every single week. We are hey. not missing any weeks. That's two episodes mm -hmm. a week from the Needs to Know podcast. I'm going to shut the fuck up because I know y'all really want to hear this content. So please make sure y'all tap in. We hope y'all enjoy. Start y'all week off. Again, that's every single Monday. Y'all are getting new episodes. Alex, Reggie, how y'all feel? Feeling great. Patreon.com mm -hmm. slash Needs to Know podcast. Meet you over there. You needed some love after all of that. You needed sexy love into the things you the sexy love. You needed some love. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. that's what it was. Yeah. Still get back to us though. Yeah, yeah, get back yeah, to us about yeah, it. Circle yeah, back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to start therapy. I just don't know where to start. How did you find your therapist? Nah, word. Honestly. I typed in uh black therapist <laughs> on, on like Google, Google in New York oh. City. And then I, it brought me to this website that actually has like a, a pool, a network of therapists, and yeah. you can actually kind of cater it to your liking, what it is that you're looking for. So they got therapists who specialize in like relationships, um, anger oh. management, um, you know, par parental repairing, all that type of shit. Like it gets really detailed on what you're looking for and what these therapists specialize in. Uh, oh. So I clicked a few boxes, but the main uh, box for me was a minority. So I started with black and um, Spanish 
therapist, mm-hmm. right? Filtered those out. Um, and then I, I know myself too well, right? I didn't, I, 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 you, you got to create some type of boundaries. I don't want to. So I said, let me just keep it on um, like women. Like a woman therapist. Yeah. Yeah, because that's Because a man, I'm going to challenge him. A man I'm, is going to uh, go one ear in, one ear uh, out. Uh, um, like, don't exactly. tell me what to do. Like, yeah. It's one of those. And it's also, hey. I know the importance for me in therapy is to tap into my emotions. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do that with a man. Okay. Like, mm. it's, it's tough because I had a male therapist before. Mm. And it was cool. And it was great. And I, I made a lot of progress when I was a little bit younger. Uh, but I knew there was just certain levels I really couldn't reach because a lot of the issues at that time stemmed from like relationships and trying to understand my relationships with women and certain things. Mm. So I needed to find a woman. Um, and then, of course, being black, I want to talk to a black woman. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's kind of how I found. Uh, Wait, so did you therapist. when you found the the therapist on that site? Was it the first one that you went with? No, 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 no. Because I know I have... therapy is like dating. Like you have to click with mm-hmm. them. Going. Yeah. So I met with two therapists prior. It was a, uh, a male and I met with two, two women. Um, and the last therapist that I met, I knew like she was the one. Um, was like, oh, this, Wait, how this, many? This was fourth. it like three, like four? Two, three. Two? Three. So three. one guy, two Yeah, two I don't ladies. know. Like, oh, that's why I'm like, I, I want to start ter- therapy, but I'm not looking forward to the trial and error of it. You don't want to mm-hmm. date again. Yeah. But you already found love. It's okay to date again. Ugh. Yeah. You better get I it out guess. while you can. Shit, nigga, damn. You ain't never gonna date again. Might as well date some therapists. Uh, <laughs> date some therapists. <laughs> I love how you said, like, oh, I knew she was the one. Because I know that feeling. Like, okay, we're, this is, we're gonna do this. Like, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, it. like, she holds me accountable, which Aww. is super important. But and, in a way that you actually respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And again, like, y- y'all know, like, black women, they just got this thing. Like, growing up with my mom, my grandmothers, my aunts, like, black women was a real big part of my upbringing, right? And right. Th- they were the only people growing up that I could confine in. I was, mm-hmm. There was a comfort there um, in just being able to open up and be honest. And then also, like, when I would do some bug out shit or some shit that I wasn't too proud of, I would find myself feeling like, holy shit, I'm ashamed to tell my therapist. <gasps> like, mm. because of that subconscious of the accountability or the authority of yeah. a black woman, right? Growing up, having to tell my mom, yo, ma, I did some shit. You ain't really going to love it too much, but this is my yeah. truth. It kind of allowed me to, you know, fast track my, my progress. Process do you tell her everything? Therapy. I mean, the therapist, do you tell her everything or are there stuff yeah. that you're like, Oh, no, I'm too ashamed. No, nah, I tell her everything because Damn. not that way. Yeah, I tell her everything. I, I, I've I've told her everything, and um, I don't want to be that guy. One, it cheats you if you're not just being completely honest, Dead ass. right? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, well, yeah, like, what are you paying money. for? Yeah, yeah, like you're wasting your money, you're wasting your time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I tell her all of that, and then also, humans, we have the tendency of only telling our side of the story. Yes. Right? So if I'm having an issue in my relationship or with someone, yes. I don't want to just put it all on that person. Like, oh, this girl is crazy or she did this or whatever the case may be. Uh, I have to also let her know, like, all right, this I is the role this. that I played, yeah. right? Like, I'm not uh, completely absolved either. So, yeah, I'm honest. Hmm. Oh, very interesting. I just, mm-hmm. uh, while you're telling her these things, are you ever afraid that she's going to, like, tell someone? <laughs> the, I don't know why I'm thinking yo, about this. Like, I if told I tell you her my right, fear. I told you my fear, yo. Yeah, because that's why you, Alex, I remember, I remember you said in the past, like, I want to know who my therapist is. Like, can I really trust you? And that's and sick, how would I know way. that? Like, how, how That's why it's sick. That's why it's sick. Because how would you the know therapist, that? <laughs> yeah, what if the therapist isn't, like, the greatest person? How would we know mm-hmm. that? That's I don't know. Because you're it's trusting wrong. her with your life, pretty much, if you're telling her your deepest, like, secrets. Like, I don't oh. want you to go get drunk the way we do after I tell you some shit. <laughs> yeah and be like oh my god mm. guys like she's like super drunk and she's like by the way my client is alex oh from the need to know podcast oh my and god you never me believe because she's human like their p- therapist mm-hmm. will never do that i don't know like i think they would and i think obviously there's a chance that she probably has like she knows what i do for yeah. a living career all that kind of stuff damn this um, is crazy to me. like even when i hit on fanduel i tell her like i tell her everything <laughs> like, oh my god yeah like that's <laughs> why uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> it's a part of my emotions, how I feel, like a part of my week. But going back to your point of like, if she's telling people something, I think there is because they are human. 
but none of them for the most part want to lose their license license yeah. none of, nobody mm-hmm. wants to lose their license so even if they do tell her husband like i know that she had a ring on her finger which told Ooh. me clearly she's married mm-hmm. um and so mm-hmm. i wouldn't be surprised if she shared with her husband some of the things that she learns about me or other clients mm-hmm. um and if mm-hmm. that ever got out you know then she would just kind of lose her job it's one of those things where <laughs> you just got to expect her to keep her job a job but yeah. the human nature is, because if I get a bug out client, I'm going to tell my shorty, like, yo, girl, this motherfucker right. is crazy. Yeah, so yeah. I, I get that. But I will say this, though. Um, it's good to just fully embrace it head on whenever we do decide to, Reggie, because dating is a risk. And this is probably like adjacent dating, right? Finding someone to really break down things and talk to about. But I was just talking to someone about this last night. Like, you got to be willing to, because you know how people, when they're single for a while, just the whole dating aspect bothers them. Yeah, like the they got so used to their, um, like their themselves. Natural, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, their natural flow by themselves. But they also shut themselves down so much so that when they maybe meet new people now, they're closed off. But it's like you can't do that because your past experience probably wasn't the best. You still got to come into this new situation with an open mind, open mm-hmm. brain, you know what I'm saying? Clear heart. Like, all right, cool. Even if I do get hurt with this experience, I gave it my all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, that's something I've been trying to work on. Like, Amen. fuck it. We just all in. <laughs> fuck it. Ah. Damn. It is really powerful, though. It, it, it's, it's, it's relieving. It does alleviate how you feel. Because it doesn't always have to be about relationships. It could be about work status. It could be about your future. Yeah. It could be about Family, your past, right? yeah. I think the biggest thing for me um, was trying to understand why I react mm-hmm. to certain things in the way that I do. Like, I wanted to go backwards with mm-hmm. my therapist. And thankfully, that was her strategy with me. She was like, all right, cool. So what would y'all bring in like? Um, and we kind of started from the beginning until now. So now I have a better understanding of myself and why certain things kind of can trigger me or trigger tick you. me oh. off or why maybe I'm a lot more patient with other things, right? Like, real quick, oh. I know we got to go. The biggest thing is like she was so stuck on in the beginning was the dynamic and the relationship between me and my father, right? Because I gave her the family tree. I gave her right. the family history. Mm-hmm. And my dad, as y'all know, he did a lot of time locked up in my childhood. He was locked yeah. up for a combination of like nine years all together, something like that. Eight, nine years all together. That's a large chunk of somebody's childhood, right? And so, for sure, and, for a child. In her, in her mind, it's like, okay, so where is the resentment, right? She kept trying to poke at that resentment button. And I'm like, I can't have any resentment towards him. I don't. He was still a present father, even though he was behind bars. Like, the nigga still did homework with me over this jail call. We went to <laughs> yeah, go visit and, like, him. Yeah, I never got the, I never thought, oh, Savon, you know, there's a little resentment there. I honestly never mm-hmm. felt that Same. because you guys have such a great relationship. So, yeah. exactly. Yeah, what, wound up, what wound up yeah. happening? And, and I kind of explained to her, you know, the reason I can't have resentment towards him for that is because I give him the grace of figuring it out as a human. He had me exactly. at 16, 15 years old. Exactly. Right. Like he was still trying to figure it out. And as I explained to her, like I still was surrounded by love. Me and his mom have the greatest relationship ever. Like yeah. there's nothing that I felt I was necessarily missing besides his physical presence. So how mm-hmm. can I have resentment towards him when he was still there and he was just trying to figure it out? Like a young black man in the 90s and early 2000s, all a lot of them was doing the shit that he was on. Yes. Because I don't Most know how I would have been if I had a kid at 15, 16. Mm-hmm. Like, I still don't feel like I'm ready and I'm 30. So imagine <laughs> what he was feeling at yeah. 16. Right? So right now. Yeah. I always gave him that credit, <laughs> even when I was young, and she didn't understand that. But it allowed oh. me to understand in real time why I have such that, you know, connection with my dad. So that's what wow, that's that's also me. you don't have resentment towards your no, dad. No, absolutely. Oh, but thought, she, was, she was she was yeah, trying yeah. to pull the resentment out she was trying yeah. to understand uh, how don't you have resentment 